Hi, welcome everyone to ToyCon TV's episode 21, Toy Groups Assemble Part 2. Yay! I am Michael Ramas, Operations Manager for Anime Alliance Philippines and also the Floor Manager for ToyCon Philippines Operations. And joining me tonight is Lizette Ilaga. Hi, Zep. Hi, everyone. It's me, Lizette Ilaga. I am the Production Manager for Anime Alliance Philippines and Programs Manager for ToyCon PH. Hi, Hi guys. How are you? I am struggling with my internet connection because of the storm, so I, I'm, I'm having difficulties actually getting my, my internet back up. I was good for like before we started the broadcast, but now I'm mm. hanging barely, so hopefully I make it towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't differ much with the Philippine internet. Uh, I we mean, know you're in New Jersey, but then it's, again... <laughs> it's, it's completely different because like when service is down, service is down, so yeah. you know, 
uh, you, you can't do anything about it. But anyway, ToyCon TV tonight is your weekly catch-up with the local toy community and fandoms that love everything about toys, collections, and hobbies. It's also our way to keep the ToyCon community together despite the physical distance. This is brought to you by ToyCon, the event that brings collectors together for nearly two decades now. And each year, ToyCon invites toy groups to showcase their collection, as most of you have seen in the toy gallery. Each year, the toy gallery grows and has become a big, one of the biggest attractions exactly. for ToyCon guests. Yep. We started with a few cabinets with a little over a dozen toy groups when we mm-hmm. started ToyCon. And did you know that just last year, we had more than 90 toy groups that participated and displayed their amazing collections? I think it was more year. than that. Uh, actually, it was 92. 92 we had 92 okay. toy uh, toy groups that displayed their collection. And um, we featured three of those um, toy groups in the past episode. But here we are. We're bringing back... Um, we're bringing in three other toy groups to yes. uh, to show their collection and talk about how they started with their collection and what we um, hooked them to to these kinds of toys. Mm-hmm. The, the the lineup for tonight is actually amazing, and I hope everybody else keeps on watching because we're yeah. gonna have some some prizes for you guys tonight as well. Yeah, and so you Great guys prizes. have yeah, so if you guys have to pay attention. <laughs> And we if have I were to post, I would actually be, be joining yes. this, this contest. Exactly. But I am actually personally excited for tonight's episode because I am such a Gundam fan and I've been uh, a Power Rangers fan during my younger years. So, I was a Morphin Morphin time in school. Because if you're, uh, if it's, you're it's 90s It's my kid, childhood. Yeah, it's basically our childhood. With, our, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, <laughs> we're just months apart, so we uh, can't exactly. deny it. <laughs> yes. But yes, it's it's part of our childhood, and mm-hmm. we've seen the evolution of these um, these toys and this anime through the years. But this is really something interesting to back. Yes, so that's why it is like, a privilege for me to actually host the show for tonight. But Lizette, why don't you start bringing our guests? All right. Um, our first guest is representing the group Mecha Pinoy. It's actually mm-hmm. the oldest Mecha enthusiast group in the Philippines. And representing uh, Mecha Pinoy, let's all welcome Carl Nualia. Yay! Hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. Hi. Good evening. Hi. 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 Wow, Good evening. I, I see Good the collection in the, in the back now. Yeah. Yes, it's a uh, it's a hodgepodge of everything: military models, Gundam toys, everything. Yeah. Well, I'm more <laughs> of the Gundam. I, I'm more of the on the Gundam part. But I do know a couple of stuff then with in terms of military. So, like you do uh, model tanks as well, do you? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like I'm I'm uh, definitely gonna have a couple of questions about that later yeah. on. <laughs> uh, I, I build a bit of everything. I, I'm, I'm I build tanks. I'm doing this. It's an aircraft. Oh, okay. And then and I can see all the paint behind you. And then this uh-huh. one, this, this is my latest Gundam uh, finished Gundam project. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. I do, I do a lot of things that interest. All right. Me. So we'll we'll discuss more later, no? We'll um once uh, uh the Q and A comes in. All right. Thanks, Carl. Yep. Yep. All right. Our second guest has been one of the head administrators of Ranger Wiki. He is a collector, cosplayer, artist, and an avid fan, and a member of the Ranger team group, such as. It's Morphin in the Philippines and Lightning Collectors PH. Let's give a warm welcome to X Paco. Yay! Hi, Hi X. X. Hey, what's up? Hi, How everybody. are you? What's up? I'm Ooh, great. You've got I'm a great, nice background there. Wow, that's a nice background right there. This one, yeah. <laughs> so, are you just. A bunch of magazines. Uh, let, let, me, let me clarify uh, a bit now. So, uh, Ranger Wiki is the biggest. Internet's biggest Super Sentai and Power Rangers resource, if I'm not mistaken, yes, as, as you've informed us. And you've been with them for, yeah, for you, how, how long? Um, about a decade, actually. Um, wow. The thing is, when, when you research anything Power Rangers related on the internet, the first thing that will come up will be anything from Ranger Wiki. Let's say, try it, try it at home. If you, if you right. open a new window and you know, <laughs> type Megazord. That's the first thing. That oh, it, it's gonna up. come out. Okay, so well, like, yeah, um, I, I I have a question though. So um, what? Sure. Uh, you might probably know this: the difference di- between Sentai and Power Rangers are are they the same or not? 
Yes and no. Um, essentially, Super Sentai is the source material of Power Rangers. So, oh, okay. um, Power Rangers is taken from, uh, it, it's adapted from Super Sentai. Uh, Haim Saban basically um, wanted to, uh, you know, Frankenstein a show together because he, 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 he <laughs> and a bunch of other people. Yeah, they okay. found the Japanese show cool. So they okay. were like, you know what? Let's bring it over to the United States. But they little bit, little did they know that it was going to be a, you know, a worldwide It was going to be a hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. So, so we'll talk more about that later on then. Because no, I'm actually curious how. And um, one of our resource person for tonight as well and uh, part of us is like uh, a huge Sentai fan as well. So, huge. Yeah, yes, huge I hear. Sentai fan. So, all right, Zed, go for it. Yep. Our... Last, but definitely not the least guest, um, he has been one of the first members and of the most visible doll member of PNN, uh, a collector since eight years old. Mm-hmm. And let's give him an amazing ToyCon TV welcome, Mr. Gideon Dula, eight, also known as Gideon D. Yay! How do we do a ToyCon TV welcome anyway? <laughs> Uh, t- Toyko TV, hi, hi, hi. and um, she, he, she, he, 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 he's still missing right now, but we'll yeah. definitely get him back on. Um, so he will be with us later on to actually present his amazing doll collection. Uh, I think PNN stands for um, ano ba? Na- Filipino ma- na- nagmamanika. I think I think that that was uh, that was the group. Um, I may be, I may be wrong, no. Mm-hmm. Pero sige zet um. <laughs> Push it through. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could ask Dion later. Yes. But, well, surely a lot of our viewers maybe right now would rather. Right now would oh, there he is. More... Oh, hi. There's... Hi, Dion. Hi, Dion. <laughs> oh. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I, I was hi. disconnected earlier. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay. Uh, right. So, what does PNN stand for? Because I, I said Pilipinong nagmamanika. So, did, did I get that right? <laughs> it's Pinoy na nagmamanika. Ah, okay. So, I, I, I was almost there. Kinulang ako ng na. <laughs> All right. Okay. Maybe later we can discuss Maybe more about P and M. Pero okay. ganda ng background and I can see I can see a doll in the background. Pero mm-hmm. childhood. <laughs> childhood. <laughs> yeah. So give that. Let's let's push it up now yes. for so we can start. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of our viewers right now would like to know more about all of our guests. But before we let our guests begin their talk and their presentations. Michael, we have another resource person slash host for tonight as well. I'm going to pretend I'm shocked. His insight will definitely be a great addition, especially with his knowledge in Gundam and Sentai slash Power Rangers. That's right. Yeah, and let's also bring him in. It is my honor to introduce the one and only Mr. Futomi Nomura, a.k.a. Toto. Oh. Hey, <laughs> nakamute ka. Awesome. Nakamute ka. Hey, nakamute ka pa rin. <laughs> Wala there. siyang sound. Go. Wala siyang sound. I can't hear Introduce him. Yourself. Yan, hello? Ka Ayan, pa, yan, hey. yan, yan, yan. Hey, ang delayed ah. Sige. Uh, good evening guys. I'm Futome Nomura, uh, Assistant Operations Manager of Anime Alliance and Toy Con Tech Ops Manager. Yeah, he also, is our tech house right. manager. Just for an insight for everybody who's watching, Toto is actually has been with ToyCon for at least 14 years with me side by side uh, since the inception of Anime Alliance. Then, so he's been running um, ToyCon's tech operations ever since then. So, yeah, and aside from that, he is also a a Gundam and Sentai fanatic. So his insights later on would actually bring us a lot uh, uh, a broader. Um, view of, of tonight's episode. Yeah, so is that. Yep. So, um, I guess our first um, presenter is ready, Carl. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's gonna be Carl. Yep. Okay. So, Carl, so are you first... ready to blow our minds? <laughs> so I'm ready now. I'm excited about his presentation. Yes. I was here yesterday for the for the briefing, but I guess this is so exciting. <laughs> All right. So, Carl, take it away. Okay, uh, so to reintroduce myself, I'm Carl Nualia of Mega Pinoy. Now, uh, Mega Pinoy is the oldest uh, mega enthusiast group in the Philippines. Uh, 
our group started in 1999. Um, it started from the Gundam mailing the Gundam mailing list, which was uh, an emailing group of of uh, with international members. Well, what happened was one of the Pinoy members uh, suddenly shouted out, asking for if there are any other Pinoy members in in the group, and then they all replied in Filipino. <laughs> so the admins. Uh, told them to stop speaking Filipino or they'd be kicked out. So that's why the, the Filipino members, they, they made their own mailing list. That was Make a Pinoy mailing list. And that's, that's, that's how the group was born. And then eventually it, it went out of the uh, mailing list and onto their own forums. And well, today now it's, it's on Facebook. So after that, through some connections through our some of our members, we eventually meet Banky Trading. Uh, they are the official distributor of uh, Gundam model kits here in the Philippines. Uh, and since we were pretty much at, at least that during that time anyway, we were the only ones who were uh, making painted uh, Gundam Gundam model kits. So they they tapped us to uh, provide display pieces during their some of their events, uh, mostly their their the Gundam caravan. Uh, it, it's the event where they were going around malls promoting the, the, the model kits. Then we would display our painted uh, Gundam kits there to help promote the product. And then eventually, of course, when, 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 the, uh, when the contest came in, which today is known as the, uh, the Gundam Builders World Cup, GBWC, or the, and the GMKC, the one that happens during the summer, we, also, we, we still display until today. So that, that relationship has been going on for, uh, I guess, almost 20 years by now. So anyway, uh, the ne next slide. Uh, now, internally, we, uh, eventually we, we, we decided to meet uh, personally instead of just in the forums or in the, the mailing list. So uh, we, we started what we would call the mecha meets, which are basically what would you call the eyeball meeting. In, in, in during those times so we would meet in a certain place and then we just talk talk shop and then uh it the the group is is is, is essentially a mecha enthusiast group you don't have to be a skill model to join as long as you're interested in mecha you can go in you can come in and then you know and, and vibe with the group but since gundam is is uh is pretty much synonymous with the model kits it just so happens that many of our members are also skill modelers Hence the uh, painted Gundam kits we've been displaying for Banky. So, uh, so moving on from that, other than our relationship with Banky and uh, our internal uh, internal activities, we we've been also been joining other events like well ToyCon. We've been displaying for ToyCon for I don't know ten or eleven years, I think. And then uh, we've also been uh partnering with the ipms philippines the it's the largest scale modeler group and the oldest scale modelers group in the philippines also uh we, we've been joining the the nationals competition of scale models and then of course banky's own contest the gmkc and gbwc and uh since many of us are avid modelers and we've been following we've been doing the craft for so long uh, many of our members have been have been winning in those contests. So next slide. Here are some of those uh, winners. Uh, if you see on the on the left, we'll start with uh, Baros Adved Savedra. He's he's the GBWC 2012 champion, local champion in the Philippines. And then on the right, you would see that's Nathaniel Brera. He was the champion last 2014. But before 2014. Uh, during the, the uh, early to late 2000s, he he, is, he was a perennial winner in, in this contest also. He, he just took a, a few years break and then went up 2014 and he won again. So that's how good he is. Next slide. And then in, the, in this next slide, you would see uh, two young ones. They're, they're brothers, actually, uh, Kevin, uh, Boris, and Ryzen. Uh, what's uh, what's amusing about these two is that they kept winning every year until they were no longer eligible uh, for the junior category, and they they they've gone to Japan a couple of times because of their wins. 
So yeah, we're 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 we're, kind of, we're proud of him basically. Next slide. And then here are other winners. Uh, again, back to the open class, the the older ones. <laughs> 2015 Philippine champion is Angelo Gibone. 2018 Philippine champion James Markins at now James along with Nathaniel Barrera as I mentioned earlier, uh, he was also winning during the uh, early to late 2000s. It, it was either him or Nathaniel. They were just trading places. So again, he, he he after quite a bit of time off, he went back and then he won. And then uh, our champion last year is uh, Jonathan Abinir. Is uh, in the rightmost uh, of the slide. Uh, so far, he he is the current Philippine champion until the next event, which unfortunately will be in 2021, since you know the virus and all that. Okay, next slide. Now here's a collage of uh, different you know, photos from our different events. Now, other than the events I mentioned earlier, where we where we've been participating in other groups like IPMS and uh, ToyCon and, 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 and Banky's own events. We also hold our own internal events. Uh, they were, there, are, there have been various themes of these events throughout the years, but uh, the most common ones, the, the ones that keep, that keep happening every year are two. Uh, SDCon, so the theme is uh, the SD Gundams, the, the Chibi Gundams, that happens every December. <clears throat> that happens every December. And then the other... Uh, Recurring event is uh, it's either the F one four four or F one hundred, so it's either one four four scale Gundam or one one hundred, depending on whichever we agree on for that year. So these are photos of those events. Uh, photos are quite tiny, but you know, and we get the idea. Those are internal contests. We we judge them, decide the winners, and uh, uh, Banky also helps us out uh, for those contests. They they usually provide the prizes. So uh, that, that's, that has been part of our relationship with them. Okay, next slide. Ah, here. Here are some of the our event uh, posters, banners for those uh, various contests. So again, uh, pretty much very varied themes. So other than the SDCon and the F100, F144, you have, uh, well, you have this, uh, Yeah, thirty-minute missions. It's it's uh, one of the one of the latest uh, product lines of Bandai, and then build divers uh, challenge, of course, in accordance with the the currently running series of uh, Gundam. And then some other like this, uh, Sangoku then because uh, at some point Bandai re revitalized the, the the product line, so we held a contest to help promote that 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 product line too. So again, very varied themes. So there, there, there's there's something for everyone if if you if you want to join our contest. Next slide. Here uh, a while ago, I showed photos of uh, our event showing the, the the display the displays of the Gundam kits. Now this one is well, our members. Now throughout the years, some have come and gone, but uh, the core group still remains. Uh, originally, we're again we, we were we started with a mailing list, the Yahoo groups. I don't know if many of our viewers are still familiar with that kind of group. And then we went on to online forums, and then when that trend died off, we shifted to Facebook. So that's where we are now, and uh, it's it's quite an active community. We have a we have a we have a couple of group chats with the the active members in it and it's we we, we talk every day so it, it's quite a lively community okay, next slide now if, if some of you are in the facebook group you would uh, these are a compilation of our members works uh, many of these have been posted on on the facebook group uh, again while while our primary well, primarily we are the group is known for uh, for Gundam kits. The group is named Mecha Pinoy, so it doesn't really mean that we're exclusive to Gundam. As long as anything Mecha, so could be Evangelion, could be uh, I don't know the new ones, Darling and the Franks, uh, the Super Robots. If, if you're into that, uh, what else? A anything as long as it's um, Mecha, Japanese robots generally, but but Mecha in general. So as long as you're interested in that, you know we. we 
you can you can come in you can you can interact with the group the okay, next next slide now just to highlight some pretty unusual things we have done before uh in this in this in this collage of photos you can we we i think this was around 2009 so that's 11 years ago yeah, this was to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the group well, now we're 21 years old i guess so uh during this time we we just to, to celebrate that that anniversary we decided to build this huge diorama uh if you were familiar with the original gundam series 0079 you would know that in the final episodes of the series they fought in the the, the last boss base i guess it's the abawaku but uh space station so we we built a diorama of, of of a part of that the the main tower at the top of the thing and then we we displayed this in in that year's ipms nationals so it, that was held in mega mall if i remember correctly so yeah it, it, it was a quite a successful project people there were a lot of people who took pictures of it so we were quite part of that it's 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 technically it's a one four one one is the one four four scale diorama but of course uh, due to size limitations we had to distort some of the scaling for a bit just for for effect but yeah there that, that's that that was one of our more peculiar activities so yeah uh, that's it next slide uh thank you for listening to our presentation and uh you can look you can find us in facebook just just uh, <clears throat> just search for makeup pinoy there's only one group like that in facebook anyway so you'll know you're there you can join us if you want so see you there. Thank you. Thank Hi. you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask, um, yeah. how, <laughs> how many members do you have in, in Mecca Pinoy? Uh, As well, uh, today. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, Mag magbibilang pa siya ng, ta ng ano niya. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll have to check. I'll have to check. I'll have to, but I, I would say active members. Well, total members is is, is quite a lot, but not, not many of those are active. I would say active members maybe uh, around 50 or around 50 or a bit less. Mm -hmm. the, the, the core group is around 20 people and then and then mm -hmm. uh, more active members are, yeah, I think around 40 to 50 active members. But okay. uh, in total, I think a couple thousand. I think in the yeah, in the uh, I'm, I'm looking at your your Facebook group right now. Um, it's about three thousand one hundred thirty yeah, members. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, uh, no, Zet. Mm -mm. Uh, I was chatting with Toto while we were um on the backstage. I think he asked a couple of questions. Can we bring him in? The, our yeah. our resource person that like <laughs> Toto. He has some questions though. Eh. Yeah, go good. Sure. 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 Yun, hi, ayan. Ayan, ka rin, no? <laughs> I thought you have hi. questions. Yep. More on ano kasi, ang questions ko for modelers. Pang pag nasa, mm -hmm. nakita ko yung ko, custom build siya ng mga model kits niya eh. So, ang unang question ko, um, ano tips mo for painting na model kits? Oh yeah, this is a very good question. Like, for people uh, who are starting. Wait, which part of the painting process are you... From primer, yeah. to, ano, to final, yeah. ano mga tips mo? Kasi ang hirap ah, na okay. si dati. Well, uh, most modelers kasi, well, right now kasi, medyo accessible na yung, ano, yung I, think, I think yung best way to achieve a good finish would be to use uh, an airbrush or at least a spray can. Spray can. Kasi uh, before, Mga yung, mga 10 20 years ago modelers oh, modelers mostly started out with brushes mm -hmm. uh, i think recently yata hindi na ganun yung trend kasi naging um, easily available na kasi yung mga especially yung mga chinese na airbrushes na very cheap na mabibili mo sa Lazada so oh, many okay. many modelers are actually starting out may airbrush na kagad so i think wow, yun, 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 oh. yep yun yung ano yun yung good first step to achieving a good finishes Kasi mahirap kasing mag, mag, ano, mag, yung mag-remove ka ng brush strokes. Yung medyo may kita mo yung pinarimo mag-hand brush eh. Some people do it na walang brush strokes. So, I mean, they've been doing that for years. So, 
no surprise there. Pero airbrush is uh, kinder sa beginners kung gusto mo ng smooth finish. So I think yun. I think you should decide first if if you will be, if you will be sticking sa hobby in the long run. If you're sticking the oh, hobby okay. in the long so, run. So I would understand I would assume that using an airbrush would be much more expensive than than the regular Yeah. Ah, ano diba? Uh if you're in the hobby in the short run lang, pwede na yung spray can kasi okay. almost similar effect naman siya. But in the long run, mas mahal ang spray can kasi it's what ilala na yung hobby brand it's 300 400 pesos per can so mm-hmm. it mapapile up siya. Pero yung airbrushes, mahal siya at first, but if you'll stick with the hobby in the long it's, run... It's an investment, basically. Magiging it's cheaper. It's an investment if you're in the hobby. Pink bottles mo, like this one, yung pink bottle na to, is okay. 100, 160 pesos, pero depende uh, sa yung... It, it. It, it can last mga two models, three models, kasi idadilute mo pa eh. So, <laughs> yeah, nagiging ano siya. In the long run, mas matipid ng airbrush. I'm, I'm so, not gonna lie, when I was younger, I was using Dong A. I am not gonna so, lie. So I'm not even sure. The pinaka paint na ginamit ko when I started out liquid paper. So you know, oh, white, white oh. Uh, don't worry. We, we we all started somewhere, so it's okay. It's okay. If, if you get the 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 final results that you can get, you know, the, the the final results that you want for it, I guess the the end justifies the means. Yes, actually, yes. <laughs> Lalo na pag sumali ka sa contest, eh. the judges won't care kung ano ginamit mo as long as maganda yung result. Oh, okay. So on, on like contest, since you mentioned contest, there's no regulation when it comes to like whatever you use as long as you no, get no, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. They make criteria lang. Siyempre, uh, judges will be looking for smooth finishes, walang magspang, glue marks, seam lines, nub marks, dapat wala lahat yun. It doesn't matter how you achieve it as long as ma-achieve mo yung criteria na inahanap nila, you're good. Okay. Carl, is it necessary to sand it before uh, before applying the primer or you can do without uh, sanding it? Sanding yung whole model, you mean? Yeah. Is no. it is it like a prerequisite? Me, medyo, ano siya, medyo, medyo mali yung practice na yun eh. What you can do is you wash the model with soap and water. Kasi mm-hmm. merong ibang model companies uh, na medyo mas, mas older tech sila. So pag, pag-release nila ng molds nila, merong grasa doon yun sa parts. So that ah. will prevent paint from sticking. So you also, that's that. why sometimes when I when I try to when I have a new set, para medyo madulas yung yes yes yung parts niya, no? uh, So that you you, you reason, yeah right? you wash that off with soap and water or or alcohol, whichever. Okay. Yun yung kailangan mo matanggal. You don't need to sand, kasi the, the the primer will stick to the plastic regardless. But it has to be free of yung mold release agent. Okay. Yeah. Final question, yet patong yeah. ko lang mo. For both of them, for Toto and Carl, no, because they, I can see their their model kits are right there. How long does it take you to build? Like, what, how, what was the longest you to build the gun plan? Come on, Carl. Uh, well, yung late, yung late, latest na your, your gun best gun one, your, your your best one, your best one. One, one RG na one four four na new gun dam. Eh, ginawa ko to during quarantine, eh, so I had nothing other to do than <laughs> this. So, <laughs> this this one took me one month. One, one month, month. one month, maybe four to five hours a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro. Mm-hmm. Pero if 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 right now, now right now, meron akong pasok ulit sa, sa work, maybe that would the same model would take me maybe three months na dahil okay. less time na. Eh. So, ma- how, around, around that. how about ikaw, Toto? How, how long does it take you? Ako kasi ano ko eh, uh, more on straight build. So, Inaabot ako ng mga 4 hours to 5 hours para sa isang high grade. Sa isang high grade? Well, uh, okay, so th- that's without yung painting pa, that's without the finishing. Walang painting, yun, walang painting yun. Pero pagkasama finishing, mga gano'ng katagal yun? Ang, ang finishing ko kasi ginagawa ko lang, Sharpie lang eh. <laughs> Sharpie? <laughs> Again, Carl says, do whatever. And justifies to me, I'm finish. not gonna judge you on that. Basta maganda yung lalabas, sige ba? 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, diba? I mean, his collection right behind him actually justifies naman of, of how how much he's actually done. So, I mean, sh- Sharpie it is. Ako, <laughs> dong eh. Poster ko. Ay, ko pang ipaint ng gamit ng Sharpie yung, ano, yung pilot figure na 1 is 100, yung master grade. Ah, okay. 
So later on, no, mamaya before, kasi ano, so what we can hop on to our next guest, no? Later on, I'm gonna ask you guys the specifics because some people probably are wondering which um what is high grade, master grade, perfect grade, real yeah. grade. So later on, we'll probably sure master grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you, Carl. Uh, your presentation it was awesome. Our next guest is ano uh, is a Sendai fan. Yeah, she's the uh, head administrator of Ranger Wiki. Let's bring in um X. Hi X. Hey. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> I can see your comments, X. <laughs> you relate with the liquid paper and dong A. <laughs> I do. I mean, um, that's you know, when I was when I was what, um, maybe uh, seven years old, I was painting with liquid paper and whatever poster color was available. Yeah. Listen, yeah, that I, was I the that. only. Those were the only items available for me when I was a child exactly. because I also yeah. used it for my projects. So, <laughs> these are materials that are already available. So, I, I'm yeah. actually guilty of of ruining my matchboxes because of dog food <laughs> as well. So, <laughs> I, I I cannot tell you how many toys I had to rebuy because <laughs> as a kid I was so I, crazy I, I, with I would customizing believe. them into other toys. So, as a collector, I had to buy them back just yeah. so I could get the clean version. Well, anyway. <laughs> So um, we're moving on from from Gundam from Mechas so, no, to Sentai. Sentai, and you can see Toto's um, headgear, diba? I think that's a Sentai headgear. Ano ba yan? It so, is. Magaling. It's from Go Kaiser. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> later on, I think he is also gonna have a lot of questions for you because he is yep. an avid Sentai sure, fan as well. Sure. Like that's all he watches aside from anime. So <laughs> all right, so, we'll give the floor to you. It's yep. all yours. Okay. So yeah so hi guys so my name is x and i am one of the head admins of ranger wiki um i'm the only filipino um like head admin um there are a few other admins some are from the uk some are from the us um but i'm the only filipino there um but in terms of uh membership and other editors we have filipinos as well who make edit, uh, editing jobs for the Ranger Wiki. And that's open for everybody. I mean, if, if you see this now and you're like, oh, can I join Ranger Wiki? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Um, and as you can see there on the slide, um, I have made it a personal mission to literally um, make, make it a point to meet whoever Ranger is here in the Philippines, even if uh, whether they're a Ranger from Power Rangers lore or a, a Ranger from Super Sentai, I would want to meet them. So as you can see, I've met these guys, um, De Decray Montgomery and um, Yoshi Sadar. So I did a uh, hosting for Christmas Toy Fair, actually, for a bit when five of the Rangers showed up. Um, that was a couple of years ago. That was fun. Now, for Ranger Wiki, though, as you can see there, uh, as I was telling you guys earlier, if you do any search for anything that's Power Rangers related, um, the first thing that will pop up on Google is something from Ranger Wiki. So, for example, if you search Samurai Megazord or uh, Jason Lee Scott or Kimberly Ann Hart, you know, crush ng everyone's first crush, I guess, from if you're my age. Um, that's what would pop up first. And the other piece is, you know, so Ranger Wiki is a database. Um, we, we are a repository of information for everything, everything, uh, Power Rangers related, uh, be it the TV show, be it the comic books. Shout out to Miguel Mercado, who is a Filipino artist in the comic books, for the comic books rather. And, um, could be for the toys, um, really anything, uh, you could find it there. Um, and also for social media, what we uh, are really big on is making sure that um, all fans are engaged, whether it be for Super Sentai or Power Rangers. So um, we, we dip our toes in Facebook, Twitter, and we make sure that we're um, engaged with toy groups. So a few of the ones that I'm a member of would be It's Morphin in the Philippines. Uh, Chris Cantata actually started that. And um, yeah, um, if we could go back one slide, I'm going to talk about, if you could go back, yeah, there you go, the second slide. So 
as you guys know, um, Super Sentai and Power Rangers, they both were very big here. And um, while Bioman was not the first, it was the probably the big start of Super Sentai here in the Philippines. Everybody knows Bioman. Everybody. And Bioman was the start for the entirety of the Ranger universe for the Philippines. And sobrang big nyan for a Filipino. Um, so it would have been Bioman for you or Mask Man or Five Man or Jet Man. And, you know, literally every kid wanted to be either Red One or Blue Two or whatever Ranger, right? And then back in 93, 94, we had Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which was an adaptation of uh, Zero Ranger, which was one of the Super Sentai uh, TV shows. Now, if you're not a fan of Super Sentai and Power Rangers and you just casually know about them, you might not know that it's a to. Um, you you'll notice na parang may genres in Japan where there's always five multicolored superheroes. It's actually just one really long meta series, um, and Bioman and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are all part of that. Um, what they do is um, they take a show from Japan, and either one between one to three years later or much later than that, they're gonna adapt it in the U.S. and show it to the world as Power Rangers, with new actors, but retaining um, the suits, retaining the monsters, uh, retaining much of the basic story, and of course, the giant super robots. So all of that is, you know, pretty much, th- the question was earlier, um, is Power Rangers and Super Sentai the same? So that that's why I would say yes and no. And Ranger Wiki, um, really caters to both if you're a fan of super sentai if you're a fan of power rangers uh, same thing with you know it's morphin in the philippines that i mentioned earlier if you're a member of that you're gonna notice that um, people are free to talk there whether you're a super sentai fan or a power rangers fan if you guys could hit the next slide i'm gonna show you guys the current state okay so now um super sentai and power rangers you know every year it keeps going it doesn't stop there was never a year that Super Sentai and Power Rangers was canceled. Kamen Rider went off the year for a while. Ultraman went off the year for a while. Um, but they, these two, they never stopped. Never. So Super Sentai kept going, and it's, it's pushing 45 now, 45 years. And it's, uh, the TV show is called Kira Major, as you can see there on the left. Um, it's a jewel-themed, car-themed uh, TV show really nice um production's been slowed a bit because of covid but you know lahat naman. Um, but this is a really good show if you guys could catch it i would really recommend it and power rangers just announced the latest um adaptation which is from super sentai re soldier they're going to adapt it into dino fury next year um so you can hit the next slide please okay so i'm gonna talk about the you know you guys, everybody knows this. If you're a fan of Power Rangers, you've probably seen these toys. Either, you know, giant 8-inch figures, as you can see in the picture below with the full team, or the ones that you push the button and then it will morph on its own. And, of course, you have the Megazord, which is about a 12-inch figure. Um, and you can see that, you know, you see here in my on the back of me, you see a few of the Zords as well. That whole... What do you call this? That whole uh, formula has been ingrained in Power Rangers over the past uh, Super Sentai and Power Rangers for the past 45 years and counting. And all of them have multicolored superheroes. All of them have giant robots. All of them have alien monsters. You know, and that's going to keep going, hopefully. So I'm going to show you guys what all the toy groups are talking about right now. Um, If you could hit the next slide. The thing is, Bandai no longer has uh, Power Rangers in the States. Bandai still uh, has the Super Sentai brand and they still do the toys for Japan. But in the United States and the rest of the world, Power Rangers is now under the Hasbro brand. So this is these are the guys who make Transformers, G.I. Joe, My Little Pony, uh, and Marvel Legends, and Star Wars. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys have seen these yet but these are basically like marvel legend style figures these are amazing these have like multiple uh, let me grab one for you <clears throat> so you've got literally the likeness of an actor and multiple articulation 
you can really pose them any which way. Multiple weapons. You can literally have the actors, like you can collect all of them over the course of the year. And it's only been a year and look at all those figures. So that slide in particular, that's Lightning Collection year one only. And, you know, it's been really amazing. Um, all of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, have pretty much been released. Uh, we've got Goldar, if you're familiar with him, big giant golden ape and a bunch of different other rangers from you know other seasons because like i keep saying they keep going every year every year every year they don't stop um they have like about three rangers from the latest series which is beast morphers um if you're a tommy oliver fan you know the green ranger the white ranger he has figures there as well and if you could hit the next slide please so this is the next slide is showing what's out right now and what was released just yesterday to the public. So right now, what's out and what we're expecting to get are a five-pack of Psycho Rangers, um, some exclusives like a Black Ranger from Dino Charge, and also um, yeah, White Ranger from SPD, who has a bike. So that's going to be the first bike. Um, Rita Repulsa, I, I see in the questions, um, I don't have Rita Repulsa yet because she literally just came out with Lord Zed in the States, but she's on the way here. There are some local producers here who, uh, so local distributors who are going to bring them over to us. Um, yes, Cholo, um, is Hasbro available locally? I believe yes. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, what's available later. These ones aren't out yet, but we are expecting them because they've already been released in Indonesia and Malaysia and Thailand. So we're probably next. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. And then yesterday, just yesterday, we got a, the announcement for the final um, core Power Ranger um, from Mighty Morphin, who is Zack, the Black Ranger, as you can see there. And you've got Tommy in another incarnation as the Red Zero Ranger and yellow in space ranger and another version of goldar see so these guys to me this is the dream i think it's a dream for a lot of you know um collectors because hey, we've always wanted figures who have you know detailed look at this tiny morpher if you could see that wait where's my camera see that that's fully painted that's crazy i mean we never used to get stuff like that. That's a tiny morpher right there. And then you've got painted weapons. Painted weapons that combine. It's it's insane. I forgot how this combines, but they, they combine. <laughs> and then you've got likenesses. Now, the thing is, Hasbro still, you know, they do this for Star Wars. They do this for Marvel Legends. They do this for... Um, other properties that they have and they use you know they use face printing technology to finally give us you know new new versions of the figures that we've never had before so i think it's a really like cholo says it's really a great time to be a power rangers fan that's see that's what he said anyway next slide okay so um this was asked by a bunch of people um there is going to be a new Megazord. There is going to be a new Megazord that's out. And in my opinion, it's it might actually be better in some aspects than what we've gotten over the years. Now, um, for example, um, we've got uh, Deluxe Megazord from back in 1994. We've got the Legacy Megazord. Um, I have this one. Okay, so these bits are from the Legacy Megazord and Dragonzord. So this is the Dragonzord fighting mode. So these have die cast, but the thing is, die cast can be, you know, a little top heavy if you're not careful. Um, what Hasbro did is they they are releasing an actual toy version, as you can see there, an actual toy version, as in that you can play with and bang around with your kids um, of the Megazord. So that's what that is. Um, it's not like the most complete in terms of paint, but the sculpt is entirely there. You've got hip articulation, you've got uh, waist articulation, 
all the movement of the previous Megazords is there, and you can purchase them in packs. Uh, you can get the Tyrannosaurus, and then you can get a two-pack of the Mastodon, and the Pterodactyl, and then a Triceratops, and a Sabertooth Tiger, and then bring them together, and you get... Next slide! Ta-da! The buildable Megazord. So, the new Megazord is... There you go. So, for me, it's a lot more proportionally accurate, and you can... Um, you know, play around with it. You won't be too worried about, you know, damaging the figure because it is a literal toy, but it still keeps great proportions. It's still well-designed. So I like it. And um, there are, you know, we have some issues with regards to some missing details there, but they're just, you know, they're sticker opportunities. So if you have a, you have the ability to um, create or order stickers, you should go ahead and get on that. And hi to Kev's Villarico. I see I see you joining in the comments there. Yes, there is Lightning Collection PH. So if you're a Lightning Collection um, enthusiast, you should go ahead and visit that group and join that group because everyone there is a big fan of the Lightning Collection. So yes, love the term more phenomenal as well. Let's hit the next slide. <laughs> Okay, so also we have the Zeo Megazord. So um, if you're not familiar with Zeo, Zeo Megazord is what comes after Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as a whole. Um, this is not a buildable Megazord, but it is actually a 12-inch action figure. So everybody's excited to have this because, you know, it's, it's a really nicely proportioned version of the Zeo Megazord. Um, will we get a buildable version in the future? Not 100% sure yet. We're hoping, fingers crossed. But to me, this is a good sign because yesterday, um, during Hasbro's Fan First Friday, it was asked um, that you know w would would um, Hasbro be moving on from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? And let me give you the non-press release answer. The answer is no, but MMPR will be the core, and all the other teams and seasons will form around that and expand so that's why we're always gonna get mighty morphin we're always gonna get these other seasons and other um, teams along with mighty morphin and this is a great example so to me this is a good sign if we get a zeo megazord like this what's what who's to say we're not gonna get any other megazords like a time force megazord a samurai megazord stuff like that anyway so let's hit the next slide so what I'm showing you basically is, you know, everything that um, the toy groups have been talking about in the last few days. Now, this is what's out in the Philippines now. Um, these are now being released, um, except for those three figures. I'll talk about those in a bit. Um, Beast Morphers figures are starting to trickle out in the Philippines. Beast Morphers accessories. Um, Hasbro handles Nerf. So if you're familiar with Nerf, they tied up with Power Rangers. So the weapons are now Nerf weapons which is pretty amazing because if you're familiar with Star Wars Nerf, they have, you know, accurate to the movie um, blasters, guns, and what have you. And now they're doing the same thing for Power Rangers. And these are starting to come out in stores. These um, figures are actually six-inch figures, and they're a big improvement from what we've been receiving in the past. These guys can go beside your DC Universe Classics, your Marvel Legends, your Star Wars Black Series, and they won't seem out of place because they're six-inch figures. And they can even go with the Lightning Collection figures that I showed you earlier, which is pretty amazing. And as you can see, there's also a three-pack there um, with older Rangers because um, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but, but, but I think most of us have already seen this. Um, there's a big team up in Beast Morphers where um, Dino Rangers came back with Jason, the original Red Ranger, leading them. And the, this uh, three-pack is basically based on that, and it is intended to go with that basic line. So six-inch figures with basic articulation, um, relatively cheaper than Lightning Collection figures, and they're great to collect. Let's hit next. Okay, and then Hasbro is also releasing um, Megazords for um, Beast Morphers. So their style of Megazords, as you saw earlier, is you can buy individual components separately or you can buy the whole box in one go. So it's unlike before 
where if you wanted a Megazord, you would have to shell out cash like in one one time, big time, and then you have a Megazord. Um, now what Hasbro is doing is they give you the opportunity to buy just certain sections of the Megazord and then put them together. Or you can get the box set and then have everything in one go. So in this case, you have the Beast X Megazord um, in a one component of the Beast X Megazord or the entirety of the Beast X Megazord. You can get that whichever way you want. Let's hit next, please. And also, um, we were talking about the Lightning Collection. So the last two slides was really more for kids. But this set right here, um, this is for collectors. Collectors have wanted, you know, lightweight, good representations of, you know, weapons and props from the Power Rangers universe ever since, you know, another company was handling it. And now that Hasbro is handling it, they're doing a bit of a rehash of previous releases, but they do promise to go ahead and move on from this and then sh give us more props and more weapons and more helmets. And this is where we're starting. So we're, we've got a new um, morpher. And how this is different from the other morphers that have been released previously is if you put a coin in, it would actually yell, Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. It depends on what more for what what power coin you put in the morpher and it will also give you a specific color light and not just glow red so this is entirely new plus it has a nice collector base to it there's also the green rangers dragon dagger which lights up and also has sounds based on the tv show and so far we've gotten two wearable helmets um the red ranger and the white ranger now i was asking the toy store um, near me if we're gonna get the helmets and they say they are probably going to have this soon so you know keep keep your eyes peeled for that um let's hit next and i'm gonna show you um this set which is for kids and it's already out in the market so if for any reason you're able to go outside i know it's mecq and everything but let's just say you happen to find yourself at a local mall or, you know, somewhere where there's an open Toys R Us, you're probably, or Toy Kingdom, or you're probably going to find these. Um, see that Megazord? That's about two feet tall or more. That's a crazy big Megazord. And that's intended for your kids to play with. And those figures that you can see um, over on the side, they're actually uh, play school themed, uh, you know, Power Rangers. And they're about 1.5 to 2 inches tall. They can either be bought in blind bags or carded like you can see in the slide. And they usually go with Zords and vehicles. It's, you know, a lot of fun because this is, you know, something that we should really make a lot of noise about if we want, you know, um, the current distributor to keep distributing <laughs> Power Rangers. We're, we're going to want to support these lines now that they're out. Um, they're already out. Um, I was able to see a bunch of blind bags and a bunch of two packs as well. Okay, so let's hit next. And these, the next ones are also currently available locally. There. Okay. So, Mighty Megas, um, the ones over on the right side. These, some of these are already available. I don't, I haven't seen the Green Ranger and the Megazord yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll be out soon. But the rest have already been been spotted in, in the local market. And also, you've got these 12-inch superheroes. I know some of you, not everybody's a fan of this, but admit it. These are the toys that you're, you're going to want to, you know, give your kids. Because these are the toys that you can throw around and, you know, they won't break. These are 12-inch toys, um, Titan Hero scale, uh, if we refer to the Marvel version. And... Yeah, uh, what's currently out are, you know, four rangers from the Mighty Morphin seri series and four rangers from Beast Morphers. And on their way, we've also got 12-inch rangers with a new morphing gimmick. Remember those Power Rangers that you used to press the belt buckle and, they, and then their head would turn around and then they'd morph into somebody else? We've got, well, into the ranger forms rather. Now we've got these new 12 inch figures and those figures will morph into civilian or ranger mode 
when you activate the well there's a leg pressing gimmick that you do and then it's gonna do that so we're very excited about that as well okay let's hit next okay let's talk about the future of power rangers everybody's excited because all of the stuff that I showed you were planned well in advance. Um, these were the Hasbro acquired the brand about two more than two years ago, but these new uh, two new bits of information is are new. Uh, one is that John Warden, the one of the head designers of the Transformers franchise, who brought a lot of the G one elements back into Transformers in the last um, few years, is moving over to Power Rangers. So what's going to happen is we're going to see, uh, I'm expecting he's going to bring a lot of iconicness back into Power Rangers and um, some really, really cool aesthetics um, based on what I've seen um, in his work in Transformers. It's going to be pretty awesome. I, I'm very excited to see him transition to Power Rangers. And also, E1 has started acquiring Power Rangers. So the next... Um, what do you call this? Uh, Power Rangers series, which is Dino Fury, is going to be uh, handled by E1, and these are the this is the distribution distribution company. Sorry, um, that handled Pepper Pig, Peppa Pig, uh, My Little Pony, uh, Transformers, and stuff like that. So it's everything's just very very new and very exciting for us. Um, there's also that rumor that. Um, Hasbro might be taking Power Rangers in an entirely new direction that's different from what we've been getting in the past, which is, you know, being an adaptation of Super Sentai. That has not been confirmed, um, but that's also something that everybody's been talking about. And, you know, it's pretty exciting, uh, pretty exciting future. Uh, everybody's just um, kind of, what do you call this? Uh, not, we don't know what to expect from Power Rangers moving forward, and Super Sentai as well. So um, I want to talk about the groups that you can um, participate in, some of the groups, rather, that you can participate in. If you can hit uh, next on the slides, please. OK, so some of the groups that you can join if you want to talk about Power Rangers is it's Morphin in the Philippines. This one was um, established by Chris Cantata. There's a lot of members, about 1.5 members, 1.5K members. Um, you can talk about toys, comic books, the TV show, the games, anything Power Rangers and Super Sentai related. You can go on there. Tokusatsu Pinoy Collectors. And then you have, if, if you're into buying and selling merchandise, there's Power Rangers Market PH and Sentai Market PH. And one of the things, one of the places that I've been enjoying recently is Lightning Collectors PH. You know, these guys are into specifically just the Lightning Collector collection rather lightning collection figures of power rangers which were the six inch figures that i was showing you earlier it's it's a whole lot of fun being in these groups and i and i just love you know engaging with these guys also if you are um if, if you're looking for ranger wiki um like i said literally type anything power rangers related on Google and the first thing that will pop up is one of our pages. But if you want to go directly to the site, all you have to do is go to powerrangers.fandom.com or supersentai.fandom.com. Either address will take you to Ranger Wiki. On Twitter, we can also be followed at Ranger Wiki. And on Facebook, you can find us on Ranger Wiki, Power Rangers, and Super Sentai. Or the address, um, Facebook.com slash RangerWiki Tokupedia. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks, guys, for letting me ramble. And that's about it for the slides. Hi, X. <laughs> How do you start with with your um, fascination or your your journey into the fandom of uh, Sentai and... Um, yeah, Sentai toys. Power Rangers, basically. Okay. Um, if it's if if we're talking Power Rangers, because you know everybody was a fan of Bioman, I think, right? I mean, there was literally nobody who was not a fan of Bioman. But if so we're wait, talking wait. Power Rangers, yeah. I want to clarify: Are you a Power Rangers fan or are you a Sentai fan altogether? Both. Yeah. Okay. Both. both. Okay. So going yes. back to Lizard's question. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, but I think it's more it's it's a better question if if it's it's a better tilt if I answer it from a Power Rangers perspective. Um, back when I was in high school, I was bullied a lot, um, and Power Rangers was my outlet. Um, because of Power Rangers, I learned how to do martial arts and I learned to be more confident. And the thing with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is these teenagers, if you can remember them, Jason, Billy. Um, Zach, yeah, Trini, Kimberly. Back to memory lane. So <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Remember. And so, like, remembering yeah, so all the, those these guys were aspirational. Amazing. That's the one word I could use. Yeah. They were exactly. aspirational, and you uh-huh. wanted to be them. <laughs> and I wanted to be them. Uh-huh. So, you know, that <laughs> the uh, seeing these guys. <laughs> Me, me having them as role models, I literally improved my life because of them. So I became a little more outgoing. I learned martial arts. I started to participate more and stuff like that. And that's 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 why Power Rangers was a big deal for me. Other than the fact that they just looked awesome. Yeah. They look fantastic. Um, you know, it's giant robots and colored, you know, co- in and and soldiers in colored spandex. What's not to love, right? <laughs> Everybody but, wanted to be the cool kids, which I, was a I, Power Ranger. Exactly. I have a question. So, being a, a, a Power Rangers fan, you also collect their toys from like the the OG ones, the the the, the very OG ones of it. Yes, yes, I have. Um, I have several. Um, I did not display them because they're actually. Um, I bought them to restore. Okay, so, so uh, I actually, uh, uh, when I saw Carl, when I saw Carl's, um, <laughs> you know, promoting makeup, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I should get on that group because, you know, I'm gonna pick up some tips because I wanna, I wanna do restoration <laughs> for for these vintage. Oh, toys. Okay, so I have a question. You know that Red Ranger? Because I, I, before I had Red Ranger, the the one that flips the head, you know. Um, yes. Yes, that that OG toy. How much would that cost right now? I'm actually oh, looking good... for it right now. Are you now. trying it's, to? It's, it's, it's no, a toy. <laughs> I'm try... I think yeah, it's I, I have it. I, there. I literally have it. <laughs> so so small appraisal lang. Here you go. <laughs> How much? Wow, does that I'm not even like... sure anymore. But I'm not even sure uh, at this point because it. Prices fluctuate. There would be times that everybody who wants one of these will already have one, so the prices yeah. will be pretty low. Okay. But I don't think they'd go for anything lower than one thousand each. So, but if they are like, like really good condition, you, you're, you're probably yeah. gonna have to get them at a much higher price. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, oh my god, that that really just brought me back down to like you know my childhood. Because I remember when I was younger, I also had like yeah, a white they're pack. pretty. I had a white falcon before, and I just like threw it. I thought it was gonna fly, and I threw it, and it just broke to pieces. So... Wait, let's do a demo. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, oh. yes. Oh no! <laughs> Did you break it? <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, I I had it still does it. Fun. I mean, this is a this is a twenty five year old toy, but it still functions. Perfectly yeah. fine, right? Yes. And I, I gotta say though, this is for an old toy. Look, look at that. That 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 These looks like, like the good. guy. Yeah. That's Jason it's, right it, there. It's prime condition. Right. Mm-hmm. It's pretty awesome. Oh my God. And it, right, but now you've got in the, you've got something like. Uh, let me just pull this out. Yeah. yeah. But look, Toto look, had look at question. this though. This is the new version. Oh, that's, that's is a, that the new one? Really yeah, that's the new one. Oh, that's a really good piece. This but nice. Go ahead. So I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> to what extent did you have to like really go to so that you would get a toy that you really, really, really wanted? Yes. Like, what's the, what's the most extreme thing that you've done for for a piece? what lengths have you yeah. gone through sorry what was that again to what extent have you gone through to get this toy that oh, you really wanted? this was back when back that's such back a hard then. question <laughs> <laughs> like no, no, i like, think everybody's 
everybody's you made somewhere the... just to grab it you know like it because it doesn't yeah. exist in the philippines did you go somewhere and... else to actually get it or did you yes that? yes we, we all have, have our extreme have you, have you done it with I've, I've, oh, oh, I've done this. Oh, uh, and, and, and for Power Rangers, I've had to um, buy a bunch of Marvel Legends green Quicksilvers, mm. like a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And then I traded them for Power Rangers toys from the States. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Because in the States, you, you couldn't find the green Quicksilver. Mm hmm. But in the Philippines, he was everywhere, and we didn't have the blue Quicksilver from Marvel Legends. So what I did was I bought like a whole bunch of them, and then traded them to various people in the states, and then asked them to buy me Power Rangers. I see. Okay. I hoarded. <laughs> <laughs> but really, because I'm really an OG fan, talaga of 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 um, Power Rangers, no and. I, I've actually watched it from from the first. I even download I, illegally. I did download it, so <laughs> I downloaded the the entire series just to actually rewatch everything. Because hey, there's yeah. there's no way for you to rewatch it anywhere else. I, I mean, do you do yeah. you know any sources to actually? You know what? Netflix, Netflix Philippines. Yes. We already called you out on this. <laughs> Netflix Asia, actually. Netflix, if you're watching this, get Power yes. Rangers on your whatever your docket because power rangers is supposed to be available it's just not accessible yes yes it's it's there on their docket but we can't view them we all we can only view and, like yeah, as, as, as one of the people said yeah on the comments it's more phenomenal so they they yeah. should really have it because it it, oh, yeah. it it was really it was it was it changed as you said it changed your childhood and then he disappeared so, but Toto has a question. <laughs> but um, X disappeared. Ito nang otokol sa figures niya eh. Kung meron siya nung figure na may projector sa chan. Oh! Yun. Is there a toy na gano'n? Yeah. Meron siya. What was that? Sorry, I got kicked off for a bit. What was that? <laughs> Do you have the uh, Ranger figures that have projector in, the, in their stomach or in their chest? Do you know that one? I I don't believe I own that, but I think I've seen that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's more for here in the Philippines. We had those for Marvel, like a lot of them. But yeah. I, I don't believe I owned the Power Rangers version. But pretty cool. That that was pretty cool. Okay, I think Toto also had the question earlier about Sentai and. Yeah. I mean, because ako I would really want to have a clarification of it. Then, what was your question earlier, Toto? Mm -hmm. Question ko is, uh, what are the key differences of Super Sentai and Power Rangers? Oh. <laughs> eh. Aside from being Western and Eastern. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. In key points lang naman. Other than key that, yeah. yeah. Well, um, if I were to, there's not a lot, to be honest, other than the fact that um, everything has to be I, I can't even say that they were localized in terms of the culture. Because they, but they used samurai, they used mm -hmm. ninja storm, they used ninja steel. Um, I guess they try to Americanize some of them, yeah. but also kid sensibilities or at least um, censorship rules for broadcast in Japan and in the U.S. are very different. So um, sometimes, medyo may toilet humor in Super Sentai. Medyo may kinky stuff, right? But this is not something that you will see in Power Rangers. In Power Rangers, it's very, very safe. Considering that it's but it's other a than that, um, they try to be. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, as 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 was asking, do you consider Kabayo Kids a Sentai? It's a Sentai, yes. Okay. But not a Super <laughs> Sentai series. Okay. There's there's a. There, ganito kasi yan. Sentai is, Sentai just means team. Uh, okay. I don't know if you guys remember Mask Man. Um, do you remember the the song? It goes Laser Squadron. Yeah. Toto? Thank you. 
maging meme. <laughs> yeah, that one. So, Sige. Sige. Squadron Sige. or Sige. team. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. So, yes, it, if, if it's a team, it's a Sentai. But, you know, mm-hmm. in, uh, in keeping with the whole five-person team, yes, um, me, meron tayong parang sub-genre of Sentai na even if you're not Power Rangers, you're Super Sentai, but if you follow the rules, then okay. technically you're... Uh, Colored explosion. So th- there's basically a base criteria for it to be a part of it. Basically, you know that that that's the there there's certain criteria for it. Basically, they have to take off. Yeah. Minimum uh, is uh, you have to have a three to five man group, and, and they need to have a more superheroes. <laughs> and colored explosion. Actually, hindi. Oh, really? Hindi hindi pa kailangan yung more for yeah. Oh. There are some. There are some. Sentais that are not super sentai that they don't have more first. Okay. Oh. No. lang not off the top of my head. But if okay. it, if you're super sentai, you should have a more It's a rule. Sige, sige. Sige. So we'll touch up more on that later, no? So that I know I think Beyond's back. So sure, I think sure. we can bring, bring him back in. So thanks again, X, for that amazing you, work and taking us back to memory lane with Power Rangers. OG no Pan. So <laughs> We'll talk more later. Toto, thank you then for your insight being a Sentai. Yes, and yes. sabi nga ni Sir As, Power Ranger Kids starring Isis Seguera. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I, I know I've mean, never I, seen that series. Really sure Wait, what? That. I did not know about that. <laughs> I have to add that to the way. I, I am not interested, pero... <laughs> anyway. I'll try to look it up. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm about to look it up right now. Um, but, you do. Um, let's bring in Dion. Thanks, thanks, yes. again, X. thanks, thank, thank you. you. X. That is interesting. That is interesting. Hi. Hi, hi, Dion. Hi, Dion. Hello. Hi, hi. 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 Sabi, hi. sabi kanina sa comments si Lin Dion daw. I'm so, excited to hear about your presentation. Yeah, so, um, yes. we'll, so, we'll, we'll uh, give the floor to you. Give the floor to you. Take it okay, away. So... Take it away. Okay, good evening everyone. My name is uh, Gideon Dulay and you can call me Dion for short. And uh, I am, uh, I've been a doll collector since I was eight years old. And been a member of the doll group here in the Palomita since 2010. So around 10 to, 9 to 10 years old. So right now I'll be discussing you first my journey as a doll collector and later on I would also be telling you about what Pinoy and Palmatica is all about. So DNN is a doll group here in the Philippines and uh, I'll be discussing more about that a bit later on the show. show, show talaga. So let's start with this, okay? Um, as you can see I love um, taking pictures with my dolls, especially the ones that are, that are really hard to get, so you can see the evolution of uh, my looks on those pictures. But anyway, let's go. Let's start with a journey as a doll collector. Okay, parang ano, parang documentary ang maging format nito. So please bear with me. <laughs> so let's go to the next um, slide. Dion, um, wait, wait, Dion, wait, wait. Um, can you, uh, yung audio mo ata is, is not, um, it's kind of faint. Um, let's check again. Hi. Let's check again. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and, what happened? Uh, is it? Uh, uh, Mahina? Well, medyo, medyo. Konte, konte. Uh, medyo, medyo. Konte, konte. Lapit konte. Okay, so. Yon. I Yon. think that's better. I think that's better. Okay. Yeah. Again. Okay. Again. So, okay, now is it? Clear? Um, a bit more, uh, and then bit more, we're good. And then we're good. Oh my God. Maybe I should hold my mic. How about this one? If I do yes. This? Oh, yeah, Perfect. that's it. Oh, yeah, Perfect. that's it. Perfect. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I can bear. I can bear. This is I can bear with this. Okay, let's start with the ano uh, with my presentation. Hello, good evening, everyone. For those people who haven't uh, heard. 
anything from my audio earlier. Again, my name is Gideon Dula. You can call me Dion for short. I'm a member of PNN, Pinoy na Nagmamanika. And I've been a collector since I was eight years old. Anyway, uh, right now I will be discussing you, discussing to you my journey as a doll collector, how it started. And also later on the show, I would be... Um, what happened? I would be discussing about what PNN is all about or what Pinoy na Nagmamanika is all about. Okay? So, um, let's start with the first slide, an introduction on how I started collecting dolls. Okay? Hello? Oh, my... my okay. Okay. Hello? Okay, so as you, you can see over here, it says here that, uh, actually that's me, when I was a kid, that was when I was eight years old, actually I started uh, collect, uh, no, not collecting, I started playing toys, um, it started with action figures, talaga, action figures, yung what would you, uh, what you usually call tautauhan, so that was my favorite kind of toys before, because uh, yung human like sila, maliit sila, and then uh, yung play na, ano, na rough play, yung magahabulan or ihuhulog mo sa hagdanan yung mga ganun ganun ako maglaro dati because yung mga pinapanood kong cartoons or action cartoons noon ganun eh di ba naglalaban-laban sila so i remember that toy i had as action figure was Peter Venkman from the Real Ghostbusters yes and also, meron din ako mga toys noon na uh, yung mga kalaban niya na monsters so Yun, yun ang mga favorite kong toy noon kasi I'm fascinated with the with the fact na they're miniature said. Eh. They have miniature guns, they have miniature accessories. Maganda lang siyang tignan eh. 'Di ba nung mga bata tayo pag halimbawa yung mga display sa bahay na maliliit na baso, maliliit na tasa, parang ay ang cute naman nito tignan. So, I'm fascinated with the miniature um part of the toys. And then I saw, di ba, every Saturday, do you remember, nung every Saturday morning may mga commercial ng toys, toys from Kenner, toys from Mattel. Eh, dun ko unang nakikita yung mga commercials ng Barbie. So I was so fascinated with that commercial. Parang totoo ba yan? Kasi you can see it, a doll, Barbie, um, madami siyang parang gimmick or madami siyang versatility. Like for example, I saw a commercial na si Barbie, pag dinip mo siya sa water, mag-iiba yung kulay ng hair niya. Or si Barbie, pag yung damit niya, pag enough mo yung ilaw, umiilaw siya sa, sa gabi. So that started the my fascination with Barbie. And aside from the fact that this Barbie owns a lot of things, meron siyang car, meron siyang commercial ng house, meron siyang bathtub na may lumalabas na tubig, yung totoong tubig talaga. Tapos may mga, minsan may mga dolls pa na, ay may mga commercial pa ng Barbie doll na pag bumili ka ng Barbie doll, may free watch, may watch si Barbie, may watch ka din. Tapos may free pang pabango. Tapos meron siyang damit na pag, binaliktad mo, party-party, pag binaliktad mo, naging pajama na. So, parang, di ba, if you are a kid, kahit naman siguro yung 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 boys mo, ah, wow, ang ganda naman nun, fascinating. So, parang madami siyang gimmick, madami siyang mga, what do you call this, mga paandar si Barbie. So, when my sister, uh, sixth birthday at ayon, doon ako unang nakakta ng Barbie na, nasa box na talagang malapitan as you can see in the picture um, actually ano yan uh, yung, inusko, kasi alam ko Barbie bar, ayan um, Barbie yung gift ng sister ko hinelp ko siyang mag open ng gift so nung nakita ko yung Barbie ayan pala yung Barbie parang inano-ano ko siya para para anti nabi ko siya sa akin yung Barbie para makita ko siya ng husto so that um started everything so minsan pag ano tinalaro si Barbie tinitignan actually laro ba tawag doon 
ano siya eh, di ba, since I've mentioned earlier, I already have some action figures, tapos nandun si Barbie. So, tinitingan ko si Barbie, ah, ganito pala siya, ah, namumove din siya, yung hair niya na aayos. O so, may shoes siya na yellow na ang liit-liit. Parang, natu- di ba, sabi ko, natutuwa ako sa miniatures. O so, may may suklay pa siya nakasama. Ayun, so, tuwang-tuwa ako. Nun. So, ang mga laro ko nun, mga ano, mga ginagawa ko siyang stunt woman. Diba? Stunt po, mababalibag-balibag dyan. Kunyari, nakasakay siya sa car, tapos yung car mahuhulog sa hagdan or mahuhulog sa bangin. So, parang stunt po man talaga si Barbie noon. Tapos, ano, pag, syempre, pag, ano ko, i-incorporate ko siya dun sa toys ko na action figure, ano naman, kunyari, kinakasal sila, ganyan. So, si Barbie, yung Barbie ng sister ko, kinasal na kay Ghostbuster, kinasal na kay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, kinasal na sa Frankenstein, sa Drax. So, ganun ako maglaro dati. Diba? Si Bar- kung kanin-kanino ko, kasal-kasalan, tsaka stunt woman, stunt woman. And then, uh, na, na, nag-iba lang yung way of playing ko with Barbie. When I when I saw a lot of uh, my classmates or uh, mga kapitbahay ko, nakita ko sila, ah, ganun pala maglaro ng Barbie, uupo mo siya. Kunyari, nagtiti party, ganun lang pala yun. O kaya atin siya ng party, sayaw-sayaw lang siyang ganun. Saka ganun-ganun mo lang yung hair niya. Or, Ah, uh, isa gagan pala siya laruin, hindi pala siya yung binabalibag-balibag, inikot-ikot, simulacro-circo. So that's when I started, oh, maganda pala siya. So doon na nag-start na parang na in love na ako sa sa Barbie kasi aside from na maganda siya, um also nga pala no yung first time ko na pag, di ba pag pumunta tayo sa Toy Story, talagang may, may section talaga siya na Barbie. And makikita mo yung boxes, and then, ewan ko, basta parang it sparks joy talaga. Pag makikita mo sila sa shelf, tapos nakatangin sa'yo, nakasmile. And iba-iba siya eh. Um, meron siyang Barbie na nurse, may Barbie na iba-ibang occupation. So, ang tawag ko sa kanya nga nun, ano eh, parang super toy siya eh. Kasi, you, um, Tsaka versatile. Pag yung Barbie, halimbawa, binili mo yung Barbie na ballerina na kalagay sa box. Ay, hindi. Pag nasa akin ka, ninja ka. Alam mo yung ganun, parang may versatility. Tapos parang you can project any personality or you can project any um, character sa Barbie na yon So, all those things, parang nag-combine sila. Kaya talagang nagkaroon ako ng talagang gustong Uh, gusto sa Barbie or uh, fascination with Barbie. So, pwede, na sila, pwede rin na, naman natin sabihin na parang you fell in love with Barbie because she was like a super toy. Parang ganun. So, and also, um, ever since noon, ang ano ko lang, nakikilaro lang or nakikihiram lang ng Barbie or kung may dal yung kapitbahay, parang titignan mo lang siya na ganun hahanapin mo, ganyan. So, when I turned 14, I guess, um, I decided na, na to buy one para ma-feel ko lang. Ano bang feeling ng to actually own one? So, um, when I purchased my first bar- Barbie, I was already 14 years old. Um, yun yung parang official na akin kasi yung yung sa 8 years old mga hiram or mga hiningi or mga binigay ng pinsan nung 14 that's was kaya ko sinabi na uh, parang nag to nag start yung parang collection kasi yun yung first dal na talagang masasabi no masasabi mo na that a dal that I own yon so that that started it all so during those ah okay sige so during those days Siyempre, ano, siyempre student ka pa noon. The most I can um, own is like one or two dolls per year. Siyempre, kasi ipon-ipon ka pa niyan. And then also, ang dami-daming dolls, so many to choose from. So you go through like an elimination process. You like three dolls, pero you can only choose one. So parang naku, parang ano ka pa noon, dami mo pang iniisip, parang elimination game pa. So that's um, what 
my uh, collection went uh, that's how my collection went during my younger years and you know? all and then also if you can oh oopsie can okay and also Ken, since there, look at that. Yeah, my fascination with Ken also began when I was 15, na man. Because during that time, my parang school pro school program sa school, and parang most of the projects na require is mga diorama, diorama. And dun ako unang nakakita ng ng Ken na outside of the box na nakadisplay. And he said, "Wow, it's really good and it's really nice." And also, versatile din siya. Hindi man nga siya masyadong mapaandar kasi parang ano lang siya, parang, parang siyang accessory lang ni, ni Barbie. Hindi ba most of the time they do? Parang ano lang siya, parang he comes, he's like, parang di ba, may, si Barbie may, may shoes, may hairbrush, and then may Ken siya. So that was uh, where I first um, encountered Ken. And nagustuhan ko rin siya kasi Ken is also uh, comes in variety of uh, of personalities as you can see in the pictures si Ken meron siyang mga uh, friends si Steve and oh wait okay thank you yeah you can see over there also to add most of these dolls that I've shown you these were purchased much later na no nung ano na, uh, during college years or when I was working, that was the time na parang na ano ko na na-introduce ako sa eBay, na-introduce ako sa selling, sa buying and selling online because buying and selling online, there's a lot of varieties to choose from and most, kung makikita nyo, ang dami, no? Most of them were purchased there and most of them also were purchased on uh, Ukay Ukay's uh, like MSM. Okay, so next slide, please. Okay, now, ngayon na, um, fast forward na tayo. When, um, so uh, as you can see over there, yan na yung mga recent, recent, most recent uh, uh, collection ko. So, as you can see, diba, si Barbie nag-evolve siya. So, yung collection ko nag-evolve nag, nag na rin. So, as you can see here, ang tawag na dyan is Model Muse. And like that typical uh, Barbie signature uh, signature signature look, Um, madami pa rin siyang paandar. Hindi mawawala yung madaming paandar kasi syempre uh, para maging competitive siya and they up, until up to now, di ba? They introduced a lot of paandars, a lot of ethnicity, a lot of varieties as well. So, um, also as a as a collector, I would like to also inform everyone na um, being part of a doll group like PNN is, I think, one of the best thing that happened to me as a as a doll group, as, as a doll collector. I mean, it changed the way I looked at doll. It changed the way I collect dolls. And parang mas, mas, mas naging enjoyable na siya. I know a lot of people, siguro yung other members ko rin, they feel the same way. I became a member of PNN in 2010, which helped me a lot with my hobby. You know, because when I joined PNN, that's where I learned a lot. Like I, I learned a lot of new doll lines. Now there is um, there's a potential doll collection outside Barbie or outside Mattel. Pala, I get introduced to a different type of um, dolls, brand of dolls, and also I learned how to make outfit. Although I already dealt um. I'm already making 
adult outfits before but when I joined PNN parang na level up yung skills ko because a lot of very generous members were willing to teach you and willing to share their knowledge their techniques and uh, how to make the best out of the the materials that you have in terms of sewing or constructing a Barbie doll or a garment for dolls. Also, aside from that, na natututa ka rin ng mga doll upkeep and repair. So, paano mo ba um, mapapanatiling fresh yung doll? Fresh, parang gulay lang. Uh, paano mapapatiling fresh or maganda yung hair niya? Kasi pag hindi mo kasi nilagaan yung hair niya, Uh, after a while, mag- mumukha na siyang, magiging mahirap na siyang suplayin. Or pag halimbawa nagkaroon ng stay ng dal mo, how would you, how would you deal with that? And also, um, aside from that, yung buying, buying and selling. Um, actually, yes, because of uh, PNN doll group, I was also able to parang level up na rin yung buying skills and selling skills ko. And aside from that, I was introduced to a network of buy, of doll buyers and uh, doll sellers as well. So that's one of the reasons why I acquired a lot of my most sought after and most uh, dream, dream dolls na 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 nakukuha ko. So uh, as you can see in the picture that is what I was talking you about. Uh, I was able to discover a new line of doll. This kind of doll this line of doll is called FR doll. It's fashion royalty doll and it is from the company called Integrity. So the funny thing about this is that uh pag nakikita kami, nakakita ko ng dal na ganyan. Niisip ko, sabi ko, ay nako, hindi ako makakabay ng dal ng ganyan. Kasi, parang ang susungit nila, tignan, parang mga, ano, mata pobre. Tignan nyo yung faces nila, di ba? And lo and behold, few years later, I own 19. Di ba? So, uh, I won't be able to collect that if not for uh, PNN or if not uh, for being able to be part of a DAL group. So, uh, there you go. Siyempre, parang sa Barbie din, uh, yung FR, meron din silang uh, male counterpart with, which is OMS or HOMS. I don't know what to call it. But uh, there you go. Uh, they're also... What's good about them is that they're almost the same size as Barbie. So parang hindi mahirap yung transition eh, from transitioning from collecting Barbie to FR doll. So uh, they can actually share share outfits. Pero I make outfits for them as well. And uh, there, there you go. Another aspect of my doll collection is... Um, the sewing skills or uh, I make outfits for the dolls. It all started with, you can, kasi sometimes I buy uh, dolls na nude na, wala nang damit. Kasi mas mura siya <laughs> pag nude. So that's when I started, why not make clothes? So mga una, mga basa-basahan, retaritasong da retaritaso dyan, tapos hand stitch pa, tapos minsan ginuglugan ko lang yung yung closure sa likod, minsan inaano ko pa yung mighty band pa. So, those were the days. Uh, salamat sa University of YouTube, I was able to uh, I was able to learn more about uh, uh, the techniques and how to improve uh, my sewing skills as well as with the help of my co-members. So, as you can see, if you compare it from Uh, the, the previous previous slide, please. <laughs> yung previous slide, as you can see, yung sa top por- portion, makikita mo talaga na parang raw pa siya, tsaka parang wala pa siya sa, hindi pa siya masyado, ano, parang wala lang, parang yung yung fashion or your color depends on kung anong available lang na fabric. Now, I was able to, to buy fabrics and, um, to learn how to sew my mom actually bought me a portable sewing machine and i think that was one of the reasons na nag, nag na ano talagang pinursigi kong matuto so i was self taught talaga inaral ko yung manual ng portable sewing machine na yun and then nag level up yung 
ano ko yung parang skills ko and through trial and error um I was able to achieve naman the effects na na mas hindi ko naman na master pero at least nagfit siya and medyo okay okay na yung design and dun ko rin na na explore yung yung desire ko or yung creativity ko when it comes to making costumes. So as you can see over there, those are actually costumes which is ako, nabibigla ako minsan na, na nakakagawa ako ng ganyan. But, you know, you have to always uh, think of new things to do kasi you'll never know kung ano yung makakaya mo. So never stop trying and never stop uh, improving on yourself. Kasi kung, kung akala mo, ay, okay na ako, alam ko na yan, may mas improve pa. So next, yan. So ito naman parang medyo lumevel up na kasi medyo kutor-kutor na siya. Salamat din talaga sa mga tulong ng mga very supportive ko na doll members and also um, yung discarte mo rin na ano, yung sarili mong style or yung sarili mong um, fashion sense okay next next slide please ano bang next ayun as part of oh, so ano ba parang kwento na no? oh, so ngayon nung nagkaroon na ako ng skill na ay may nagtatanong Dion do you customize the doll faces as in paint actually no I've, I don't Well, my doll collection, no, I don't want to change anything about my doll. Kasi each doll, it took me a lot to... to yung, yung, yung elimination process, before I purchase a doll, parang katakot-takot na decision ang dumaan bago doon. And one of the reasons why I buy dolls, because nagustuhan ko yung face, or nagustuhan ko yung hair, or yung outlook niya. So, it's seldom talaga, or never, never ako na nagpa-repaint ng face kasi I'm already contented with the, with the face that I purchased or the and ano eh, parang wala, wala. siguro yun ang next next level ko na aralin na to, ano, to repaint but also to ano to parang ano lang upkeep lang, pero hindi yung toto yung tulad ng repaint. I hope I answered your question, Jolo. Ah, let's go back to the ano to the previous slide because ano I want to um yun nga di ba sabi ko uh, I was nung nag-level up na yung skills ko sa sewing pero sya, nagkaroon na ako ng confidence to parang to join contest ganyan so this one is the annual FRC sa Galahan ano pala FRC is fashion royalty circle it's all also a doll group pero this one is very specific to a particular doll which is the FRC so it's an annual event it's a sagalahan and every year there is a theme and you have uh, you and you submit an entry uh, depending on the theme dapat naka outfit siya and dapat may arco so I've been joining that and it's really lots of fun because it kind of like um, parang it pushes you to do something different every year so as you can see those are my entries and the next uh, the next slide please so I keep pushing myself to do something different. So who would have thought magsasagalahan ka black and white, diba? So sabi ko, well, it's a risk. I submitted the entry and I was so surprised that I actually won a special award for that. So sabi ko, wow. So it kind of gives me a, a boost of confidence na, wow, kaya ko pala. So next slide, please. And again, like uh, I said before, never, never stop uh, improving on yourself. Never stop to try things differently. Step outside of the box. So sa galahan, I thought of why not make it something ano naman, uh, something joyful. So I, pag naisip mo yung joyful, di ba ang naisip mo circus clowns, di ba, mga happy birthday. So that was my my theme dyan, circus. And if you look around, I was, ano ba yan? Entry number three ako, the other entries were, um, well, they are absolutely amazing. But 
I think the reason why I also won a special award for that is because it looks different. So I was also very happy with that. So I realized that every time I make a risk, every time I level up, that's something that always comes out positive or it's always successful. So I hope a lot of people learn from that. Kahit hindi sa sa context ng uh, dal contest, at least you know sa parang sa sa life mo, pwede mo siyang i-apply. So next next slide please. Ayan. Oh, ayan. Also, um, salamat sa Toycon that they come up with a very good, uh, with creative contest na nakapasali din yung mga uh, creative doll collectors. So, this was, I think, last year, 2019. Uh, in 2019, I was able to, yeah, yan yung entry ko. Uh, of course, gusto, kaya tayo sumasali ng contest is because we want to win, but, you know, Mayroon bang second ano? Mayroon bang other reason? Is it to to show people what you are? Kaya natutuwa talaga ako kasi usually pag ganyan, di ba? You stand by your creators in a lot of kids and a lot of dolls. Sabi, wow, ang ganda naman. Parang feeling winner na ako doon. So, that's a re- one of the reasons why I ano, I keep joining, you know. Aside from winning, syempre, you want to share uh, what you are capable of doing. So, I'm really happy with that with that uh, design so that's why nilaban ko siya and also i would like to give you a brief um parang a peek on that thought process kasi you've already known by now that i make a lot of clothes i do a lot of um costumes uh, next slide please usually when i do that yeah, it started with a sketch. It always starts with a sketch. You know, you tr- you have an idea and you want to translate it into something concrete. Then you do uh, sketching. And then, uh, pag sketching, nagmamili ka na ng materials mo, what fabrics to use. And then, hingi ka ng advice from your friends or from University of YouTube again kung how to do a certain look, how to do a certain certain uh, technique kung paano mo magiging parang balloon na balloon yung ano yung yung palda niya so next slide please ayan and then ayan unti-unti na siyang nabubuo ayun yung ano that's the, that's the portable sewing machine na rinigalo sa akin ng mom ko 2000 14 pa ata hanggang ngayon ginagamit ko siya. Malaking tulong din. And then you can see that's the end product. So that's basically uh what what uh, the steps on how some of my outfits are created. So uh next slide please. Also uh, as part of the journey naman na sinasabi ko no. Uh I've also the, because of my collection I was able to Ano naman, appreciate photography. Ayan. So this uh this one is a attempt. Ano may attempt. My attempt to do parang commercial ad or photography. It's actually a a um ano ba yun? Kasi sa FRC like I've mentioned earlier, uh before we have like ano as as a member, syempre uh, they require you to at uh, merong ano you you post photos every week and every week merong theme like for example this week's theme is about ads or advertisements so that was one of my entry and also nga pala dun sa photography i appreciate talaga parang nagkaroon na ako ng interest sa toy photography no parang still life um dahil dahil din diyan sa collection yan kasi i like i like as you can see earlier, no, nakita mo yung mga photos nila para silang naka-ID picture, para silang nasa studio. Uh, I really like doing that kasi I would like parang portfolio ng dolls. So, I, I I know exactly what dolls I owe. So, imbis na pagkalimbawa may event na kailangan mong maglabas ng doll or what dolls to bring, like for example sa Toycon or like for example today, what dolls do I uh do I display here? It's easier to decide what dolls to um to to display if you have like a portfolio. Na imbis na magkakalkal ka dun sa storage mo, titingnan mo na lang yung portfolio. Ah, ito gusto ko, and you know exactly where this doll is located. So parang ito gusto ko, ito at saka ito. 
kung photo lang yung pipit, yung titignan mo, no? So, I think magandang advice din yun for, ano, no? To, ewan ko, suggestion, suggestion lang. Kasi for me, it works naman, eh. So, makikita mo, pag may portfolio ka kasi, ito yung gusto ko na dahil na i-display ito, ito, ito. So, alam mo kung saan siya nakalagay. Ito, ito, ito. ito. Mm. So, mas madali. Kaysa magkakalkal ka, parang, ito bang dadalhin ko? Ito ba? Or ito, di ba? So, not good advice. And this is also the, the one on the on your screen right now. It's also one of the mm, ads na sinabit ko doon. Diba? I'm, I'm really happy with the end result din. So, again, also as a doll collector, nag-join na ako ng contest as, uh, as design. And then, you, I've already mentioned your, my, ano, my big interest with photography then I was confident enough to actually ayan na naman thank you sa Toycon for their lo- lovely contest yung Toy Click sabi ko try ko nga yung Toy Click na yan and in ano ba yun anong 2012 I won first place you know makita ko yan and then naman nung ano nung 2014 naman I won second place for the dress up your doll so talaga ako makapaniwala na nag-win ako so I'm really really happy with that and also I've dealt with mahilig talaga ako sa contest ano so ano no during those times na parang nag nag ano parang naging sikat yung mga doll pageants iba na feature pa nga siya sa TV and na feature din siya sa sa Jario so sabi ko try ko nga rin why not iba uh, may love for making outfits may love for making uh, costumes and my love for dolls and it's a contest and my love with beauty pageant I'm a pageant fan din kasi so parang all rolled in one so I did that and I all, I also I also won so I'm really really happy with that as well so next slide please Okay, ayun. Eh. Dahil rin sa aking um, love for dolls and outfits, I was also uh, invited to actually make an outfit for a photo shoot. Um, ang theme nun, ano, is debutante. So, it's also really something fun. Parang, alam mo yun, parang puti pa yung dal ko na jar. Ay, yung, hindi pala dal ko. Yung creation ko na jar yun na... <laughs> Ako hindi pa. So, that's, I'm really, really happy. I showed that to my dad and my dad was so excited. I mean, wow, if frame mo yan. Hindi ko siya free name. I still have the copy of the newspaper as well. So, that's really, really nice then. And uh, I think um, Cholo, uh, not our Cholo, PNN Cholo, because he's uh, the one who actually um, responsible for that. He took, he took those pictures and it end up in the newspaper and I'm really, really happy for that. Eh, parang isa siya sa highlight ng pagiging doll collector ko. So, next slide, please. Oh, there. So, syempre, hindi naman mawawala ang ToyCon experience. Imagine, uh, first time I've attended ToyCon was in 2009. Isan lang akong regular na collector noon. And I'm so fascinated with that event. Sana nalaman ko siya earlier. <laughs> so, the best part or yung the favorite part ko nun, one of the, my favorite part is yung exhibit. Imagine, makikita mo, wow, um, lot of toy groups. Talagang fascinated na fascinated ako. Parang gusto kong mag... Parang yun lang ata yung pinuntahan ko nung toy ko. <laughs> Doon lang ako nagbaba. Ang ganda. Tapos, nakita ko yung display ng mga doll. Sabi ko, wow, Ang, ang swerte siguro ng tao na magbabantay nito. Imagine, nasa loob siya ng kwarto, ng exhibit room na puro toys, tapos magdi-display siya ng collection niya, tapos tatanungin siya ng mga tao about that. Sabi ko, wow, ang galing. Sana ako rin. And lo and behold, the next year, 2010, <laughs> nasa exhibit ako, nag exhibit na ako ng, ano, ng, ng dal ko. So, di ba, parang sometimes you never know talaga eh. So, you have to really, if you really dream, dream big na rin because you'll never know Diba? Opportunities and the stars might, might might align for you for your dreams to come true or for your wants to to be granted. So yun, that's it.
So basically, I hope you enjoy. Yun yung journey ko ng ano ng as a doll collector. So I do hope na I know a lot of things pa. I will be learning a lot of things pa. So we talk about level up. Baka mag level up pa rin. And I'm really excited um, kung ano man ang darating pa in terms of the of uh, the doll community and the doll group. So now, um, since we're, uh, you've get a glimpse of my journey as a doll collector, let me now um, tell you something about one of the reasons why I'm here talking to you because being a member of a doll group called PNN or Pinoy na Nagmamanika. So let's start with the basics. Ano? Um, Pinoy na Nagmamanika was founded on August 15, 2009. So do you know what that means? That means today we are celebrating our 11th year kalain mo, naka-11 years na kami. So, congratulations sa lahat ng members and especially to our go- glorious uh, founder, Manolito Paul Garcia. Imagine that, 11 years na. Parang, kung nanganak ka nung um, nag, uh, when you founded the, the group, 11 years old na siya ngayon. So, a happy anniversary to all, my mem- to all the members who are watching right now. Uh, Kaya pa natin yan. We will be celebrating more anniversaries in the near future. Uh, i-claim na natin, okay? So, let's start with how did PNM came about. So, yeah, that's okay. Sige, stay na lang dyan. So, yan. How do did the PNM came about? So, PNM was born uh, because our founding member, Manolito Paul Garcia, want to cater to uh, different dolls, uh, different doll collectors. So it started when Barbie, the most famous doll, celebrated its its 50th anniversary in 2009. So as a tribute, our founder Manolito Paul Garcia decided to display, or he, he decided to display. No, um, he wanted to display or Vic uh, asked him to display um, his, his massive collection of vintage dolls. So, not repro, ha? Vintage doll. Yung actual, yung doll talaga nung years ng 1959 and 1960. So, imagine that's quite a treat because for me personally, as a doll collector, yung mga dolls na ganun na nag-survive, for me, are museum pieces. Meron ako yan eh, pero repro- reproduction na lang siya here. This is what she looks like. Pero reproduction lang to. So this one, this doll started it all because of her. And of course, because of Manolito Paul Garcia then. So when um, Manolito displayed his, um, his collection in 2009, that's when he started. Ay, okay. Mato na lang dawag na lang. Manolito Paul Garcia, sige. So, Mato displayed uh, in 2009 his vintage collection of dolls. And then he said, na next year, 2010, I will be displaying again. But this time, not as a solo exhibitor, but a um, as a group na, as a doll group na. So, that's something very, very exciting for him. And of course, syempre, mag, mag-introduce ka ng group at toy con pa. So that's a big, big deal. That's a very big thing. And it originally five members lang siya. And then uh, let me tell you a story about how I became a member. Um, I've met Man- Mato kasi meron siya nun multiply account and nagsisell siya ng mga dolls doon. And I saw the 80s Ken, yung Ken na luma na na parang something I, I really, really wanted. Kasi siya yung nagre-represent ng Ken when I was a kid eh. O, di ba? Ang gwapo-gwapo niya. Yung hair niya, 80s na 80s, parang si ano, Gabby Conception. Di ba? Yan. Ito, 
Ito ang dahilan kung bakit kami nag-meet ni Manolito Paul Garcia. Yan. Siya. Kasi binili ko yan. And then nung ano, nag-meet kami sa Glorieta, sabi ni Mato, I'm not sure, I'm, meron talaga, may group, ganun talaga magsalita. Hindi. Sabi niya, may group kami ng dolls. Maybe you want to join. And that, yes, nag-join ako. That's when I joined talaga. And then, so that's that. Then the rest is history na. So, uh, a lot of you uh, might be thinking, what does a DAL group member do? Or what is DAL group all about? Like, for example, as I have mentioned earlier, it's like, you know, uh, you bring together people who collect DALs and share the same passion when it comes to DAL or DAL-related um, activities or, or DAL-related um items. So, Pinoy na nagmamanika does not discriminate because um, the name itself, nagmamanika, uh, it caters to all different kinds of dolls. Na, it doesn't matter if it's an expensive one. It doesn't matter if it's the less expensive ones. Uh, it's nagmamanika naman, hindi naman yung Pinoy na ano, nagko-collecta ng mamahaling manika, no? It's Pinoy na nagmamanika. And also, we have a lot of um, members from different walks of life. So, we have um, members who are doctors as well, nurses, lawyers, uh, moms, moms, <laughs> moms, and also people from different fields, like in a great um, fashion designer, especially the guy I've mentioned earlier, he was um, most of the the learnings I get from my sewing skills come from the members because a lot of them are fashion designers, and there's also a lot of them that are in the field of um, IT mga call center agents then and so different and these people um it's really funny you know na you can see there okay we we were we come together or uh you parang you, you come from different places you come from different walks of life you believe in different things but parang pag nagdadal uh, ano kayo nagdadal mit kayo parang pareho lang kayo no kasi uh you have one thing in common, your passion, your passion with dolls, and those dolls are the ones that keeps you all together. So, sabi nga nila, di ba, parang, you know, the things that separate people, like boundaries, statistics, religion, culture, the things that separate people, uh, it's insignificant when you compare it to the things that people have in common. So, I think a lot of the toy toy groups could, um, ano, could relate to that, you know, it be, the, the differences became insignificant when you compare it to the things that you have in common. So again, nakita mo sa picture na yan, I was mentioning earlier, ano ba ang ginagawa sa DAL, sa DAL group? So first and foremost, we have a, what you call DAL meet, okay? Uh, what happens is that we meet together uh, in a venue and some of our member will be hosting and magmi-meet lang kami every month. And then, uh, what happens there? Well, when we meet, of course, syempre, katakot-takot na chikahan. And then, you get to um, ask everybody, or what's new to the doll community? May bago bang labas? Or, yung order ko nandiyan na ba? Yung mga ganyan. And then, if you have a new doll, you bring it with, syempre, attend ka ba ng doll group na wala kang dalang doll? Actually, merong isa na umaten na walang doll. Pero, I don't want to mention his name na lang. Meron naman isa umaten ng dal dal meet ang dala niya 20 na dolls so di ba para siyang nag toy con magisa niya tago na lang natin siya sa pangalang Dion ako pala yo ako yung nagdala ng madaming dolls nung first dal meet ko so as you can see nakita mo doon ano uh, iba-ibang venue yan minsan kasi ang default venue usually is uh, at Matos House, siya rin yung default host. Usually, pag uh, big gathering or grand 
dull day. So, kung may grand dull day, may mini dull day na, naman. Like, for example, yan. I choose that picture kasi I want to show you na uh, minsan nagdadal group din kami, mini dull group outside uh, sa mall or yan sa Glorieta yan. Ganyan. So, pag dull meet, parang ano lang naman yan, uh, by invitation, hindi naman required lahat na pumunta. May invitation lang, halimbawa, may binili ka sa kanya, mag-meet kayo, or may kupunin ka sa kanya, mag-meet kayo, or alam mo yun, so parang nag-meet na rin kayo, edi ano na, mag dull day na. ba diba? And also, um, minsan naman, parang sinasabay na yung dull day sa personal celebration. Like, for example, this photo. Birthday yan ni Charlie, one of our um, amazing uh, member then. He is a fashion designer and a very good friend. Uh, birthday niya yan, and then parang in-incorporate niya na rin yung uh, uh, yung pagiging dull collector niya as a theme. So, as you can see, nandyan kami, and then we bring our dolls. So, yung dolls niya parang naging centerpiece nung kanyang table. So, that was a lot of fun too. Yan. Next slide, please. Oh, ayan. So, another. Aside from mga birthday parties, we also do dull, um, uh, dull meet during, ano, during Christmas. So, parang nagiging official Christmas party siya. Although we don't do that a yearly, basta pag every time we do it, we make the best out of it. So, kikita mo yung mga, mga tingin sa dolls, oh, di ba? So, those. so yeah, ang katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, what mga ginagawa pag nagdadamit, ayan, mga bentahan, mga trading, ayan, that's another one. This is at uh, Jamie Gan's house, one of our members. Uh, very, very nice uh, doll seller. Maybe, maybe some of you know her because, um, ano siya? She's the authority when it comes. I sabi ganun. Na, she's a really nice person and a nice doll seller. So, she hosted uh, this doll meet and everyone was there. Everyone was happy. And, yeah. One of my favorite photos, di ba? And also, I would also like to add na yung PNN, ano siya? Masabi ko kanina, PNN, Pinoy na nagmamanika, caters to a lot a wide variety of dolls. Now, nagkaroon ng ano, nagkaroon siya ng parang branches or nanganak siya, sabi ni Mato ang term niya. Nanganak ang PNN. Nagkaroon ng parang subgroup for specific dolls. So, from FRC, some of the members, uh, yung mga nagko-collect ng pareho, uh, the same kind of dolls, gumawa sila ng group nila. Like, for example, uh, yung Barbie group, uh, na lahat ng mga nagko-collect ng Barbie nandun. So, I'm part of that group din kasi nagko-collect ako ng Barbie. Meron din like I've mentioned earlier yung FRC, Fashion Royalty Circle, and there's also Fashion Royalty Philippines na pang FR naman na dal. So, I'm also part of that uh, group kasi meron na kong FR. So, mer madami yan eh. Meron din um, for uh, for Disney princesses. Meron din for BJD or ball jointed dolls. Meron din uh, groups from, uh, for blight group and pulip group and it's all fun. So, parang minsan parang nag-overlap din yung group mo kasi usually collectors, uh, they collect at least one or two kind of dolls. So, they end up being part of one or two um, subgroups then like for me I'm part of the PNN so member din ako ng Barbie group um RMB FF Barbie friend uh, Filipino Barbie Filipino friends or um yon and also FRC. So, here naman, on this picture, makikita mo, as a group din, syempre, uh, I think a lot of people uh, know PNN or get information about what PNN is uh, sa ToyCon. So, every year since 2010, we actively participate on the exhibit. So, parang andyan na yan. It's part of, ano, it's part of ToyCon na yan. So, this is one of the earlier years. I think this was still nung sa Mega Mall pa tayo nag-exhibit. Ayan. Uh, ay, 
yung nakita mo nakapink kami that's actually our official t-shirt no from the preview yung previous slide and your official logo yun so so ko sana yun eh kaya lang hindi na kasya sa akin kasi alam mo naman <laughs> medyo busog tayo today today lang naman yan so okay speaking of toycon or f- speaking of pnn in toycon so ano ano naman ng mga eksena namin doon so few weeks before pa ng pnn we already discussed from sa isa't isa kung ano yung team kung may team ba ang display sino ang magdi-display anong dalang i-display kasi ang goal namin doon we want to make sure na almost lahat mag- maka-participate or magkaroon ng moment naman yung dolls nila na ma-display doon and also to parang introduce naman to the, to the public yung ibang dolls naman na hindi nila masyado nakikita on a daily basis like for example yung mga dolls kagaya ng Blight ng tulips uh, ng mga BJDs kasi most generally a lot of people ang recognition talaga nila pag dolls is Barbie or yung FR so usually it's a really good opportunity also to inform people or to kind of like give them additional information with, regard, with regards to, to dolls na may iba-ibang klase ng doll. So, I think that's one of the goals na rin ng PNN eh, na parang hindi hindi yung kami-kami lang yung nakakaalam ng mga ng, ng mga information about the dolls. We want to share it to the public. And then again, ito, I think this was ano na, ano? Samoa na ito. Yan, there. there. And we make sure na punta na, uh, we ask naman our members to at least drop by to see the exhibit and to tell their people to promote promote PNN naman by um, telling them to join or to drop by. So yun. It's also fun activity because we parang na ano yung bonding, may bonding moments din na nagaganap dyan sa ano, sa toy con tsaka sa exhibit. So, uh, okay, what's next slide, please? Sino to? Yeah, joke. So, uh, so I chose these photos because this is our founding fa- founding father, Tuloy. Our founder, Manolito Paul Garcia from PNN. And these are just some of the few um, pictures that he submitted that he, uh, to show you the... Um, the display that we usually do. So, nakikita mo yung display, ano yan, parang may ano yan, may kwento yan. So, every level may designated dyan na, uh, na doll member and meron din designated na kung anong dolls ang hindi display. So, parang may rotation yan eh. Hindi yung parang hindi naman every year siya, siya na lang. So, ako siguro twice, twice na akong nakapag-display dyan. It was so happy. Yung first, first, uh, 2010 ata yun, yung first ko na ano, as an exhibitor or as a garden, meron na ako. Maganda rin kasi yung feeling, I, I know a lot of toy collectors out there, masarap yung feeling na nakikita mo na nadidis, nasishare mo sa iba yung collection mo, as natutuwa sila, as mag-ask na ng question, because they are genuinely interested, and you are able to provide them with the answers that they are looking for. So everything is good. Actually, Toycon is one of the things that I look forward to every day, uh, every day, every year. Diba? Parang sa, do- dal cole- sa toy collector, parang nakamarka na yan sa calendar nila. And also, of course, this one, PNN has also been um, na- na- showcased there in different programs on TV, in print as well. And this is one of the examples. Uh, this, I think, when we get to promote the Toycon event, we usually have, uh, we are invited to guest, uh, as a guest on Umagang Kay Ganda. So I've, I'm really, really excited every time I get to, um, to, to attend that or to join uh, our group. Um, sa umagang kay Ganda kasi parang nakiki, parang ano yun eh, parang media mileage eh. And you see yourself on TV and you see and you get to showcase to, showcase to the public what what you collect and what 
what you are all about. So also that's one of the things that is fun as a PNN member. So as you can see there, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyong PNN t-shirt na soap namin na hindi nakasya sa akin. So I know a lot of people are excited with that as well. So another venture of PNN, aside from that also, we have conducted ano, yung Uh, pageant, yung uh, Miss Barbie Universe. Mm -mm. Uh, with Miss Barbie Universe, uh, could you go to the previous one? Mapiplay ba yun? Napiplay ba yung video na yun yung sa previous slide? Kasi video yun eh. I just want... Hindi. Anyway, yan, parang nakikita mo dyan, parang behind the scenes. What happens is that we invite 40, uh, we invite doll collectors to submit an entry to provide us with a doll that they want to, ah, okay, uh, that they want to join. So, uh, ayun. So, yan, behind the scenes, we do photos. And may, actually, may mga parang ano rin yan, parang yung dal, ah, parang ding beauty pageant na pang tao. So, they, may mga magja-judge. Uh, people who would uh, put Uh, who would like to join will provide us their doll, will provide us with an outfit, a gown, and a national costume. So those will be photographed, like as you can see there, oh, 40, 40 candidates will be photographed individually in swimsuit, in gown, and in costume. And they, those photos will be judged by a panel of judges. And the first time we did that, the winner was Miss USA. And that's that. It was really, really fun. It was really, really successful. Matrabaho siya, mahirap siya, nakaka-stress. But at the end of the day, it was parang nangibabaw yung fun. And we have the opportunity pa na ma ma feature on, on the news because apparently newsworthy pala yun. So I'm really, really happy with that as well. So next, I think this is the last last slide na yung next. Again, this is the next slide that this is actually one of my favorite part of PNN because uh, PNN, aside from doing the fun stuff, also do some serious work as well. Uh, the last uh, photo, um, one of our um, members or friend from R&D, it's actually a, a doll company, um, collaborated with with some of our members, diba? with some of our members to create an outfit, a complete outfit that, uh, that of their own creation. And then those outfit and the doll will be auctioned off on IFDC. So IFDC stands for International uh, Fashion um, Dal Convention. So parang toy con din siya, pero da, ano, puro dolls lang there. Yan, yan yung sinasabi ko. So though, these are creations of one of our uh, creative um, members of PNN. What they do is they make outfits like that and they dress up the doll and the doll and the doll gets gets sent to IFDC and when pag nasa IFDC na siya sa convention people would uh, auction may auction na magaganap and the proceeds of that uh, will go to charity or any um, or, or ch charitable institution so parang It's parang giving back to the community, like yung, yung talent mo, yung skill mo, hindi lang siya to entertain, but also you can use it to actually make a difference eh, in people's lives. So, diba ang ganda? So, that's the reason why I, I that's one thing I like about uh, PNN. Parang, I know, beauty with your purpose yung nangyari. So, I think uh, that's basically it. I hope I was able to provide you information or be, or able to answer some of your questions about PNN and what PNN is all about, how it started and what what it does. So, hopefully, um, 
hopefully you learned something from my uh, journey as a doll collector and i also hope that you um, get inspired and uh, i hope that uh, you were able to realize na um it's how important it is actually to be uh, part of a group that shares the same passion as you are, has the same goals, and uh, parang you want, parang as a member, you don't just think of yourself, but you also think of the group, kung paano ma-improve yung group, not just ma-improve yourself. So parang ano yun eh, nasa bangka kayo, sa so, yung member, nagsasagwan kayo, dapat sa isang direction lang kasi kung may nagsasagwan pa kaliwa pa kanan wala kayong mapupuntahan iikot lang kayo so again i think uh, i covered most of the things that i want to cover and i said everything i said that i want to say so basically uh, thank you very much for listening thank you very much for your time thank you so much thank for you that so elaborate much. and uh, elaborate detail um, experience that you had yeah. together with me and you happy 11th year to PNN shout out to Jens K. Sermato I Hi. I think he's watching thank so, you very much so uh, actually like when when uh, prior no when you were showing your pictures earlier I did mention ya on the comments that I used on the comments that in my defense I used to play with some friends na mga babae ko na friends noon when I was younger I actually played with I actually the skit so <laughs> I was playing a scare. So just just for point of clarification, because si Orly kasi, he flashed my comment. So parang, wow. <laughs> but actually it, it brought back some memories to me then no? when I was younger. I, I used to actually um, enjoy it as well, you know, as, as a child. Um yeah. and you've actually explained to us uh how you've actually developed and you know um you there I've seen some of the, the toys parang may sagada pa diba? Yeah. Wow. So, sige. Inulit pa niyo. <laughs> but I, I guess also kasi, diba, um, sorry ah, kasi I'm a gender advocate. So, mm-hmm. I would think then uh, we shouldn't gender, en- parang gender gender uh, box. size. The, the, Ite, parang the, you, can't, you can't box toys in a certain gender. Kasi, yes. I mean, if it's a way of self-expression, diba? I'm sure. I'm sure. See, see, yes, 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 it's, yes, it's a means of self-expression. I mean, in your case, you played with with um, girls also who played with Barbies who happened to have a Ken. Who happened to have? I have a question. Okay. Though. When the the toys that you have, let's say, um, it, it, uh, going back, do you customize them as well? Like, uh, I mean, I've seen you Sagada, but like, do you personally make your own like do you personally customization for it? I'm sorry if I missed that, Nano. Pero well, as far as customiz- I'm sorry if I missed that, Nano. Pero okay, well, as far as customization lang, I'm more of making costumes or creating create uh, create outfits for the doll. So, parang you customize the doll using outfit, but um, nothing like yung re-repaint mo, babaguin mo yung color ng hair, you add something to the body or what. Uh, my way of customizing doll or parang bibigyan mo siya ng bagong personality or bagong look is through outfits siguro or by restyling. Like I said earlier, halimbawa, pag may binili ka ng Barbie tapos nakalagay sa box, ballerina Barbie, no, you're not a Barbie, I'll make you a ninja. Ikaw, ninja Barbie ka na pagdating sa akin. So, you make a ninja outfit, you yung ninja na hair. And so, do, do they have certain skills or, skin or skin are they standard? Or are they standard? I'm sorry? Or do they have certain scales, or measurements, certain or, scales, or, or most measurement, of them are standard? Most of them are standard. Uh, most of them are standard when it comes to uh, to, to to Barbie. Yeah. Mostly, most of them are standards. So that's the reason why uh, ano, they have a specific measurements when you make outfits. Kasi yeah. Ah, so para t- tailor fit din siya pero the uh, mannequin uh, pero pero right pero uh, ano uh, syempre lahat naman nag-evolve minsan nag-evolve din sila eh. right now you see a lot of dolls talaga ngayon yeah yeah uh-huh. my, yeah, yeah. My uh-huh. and it's still kicking off in the market here honestly it's still kicking off in the market here there's a lot of them they're still coming out so right so i really like that idea diversity because it's kind of like you ha- there's a doll for you 
where you can identify. Diba, there's a... Kasi may nakita diba, ko na a... Barbie doll din na meron, amputee na Barbie doll. Oh, yeah, Barbie doll amputee, na um, a plus size, a plus size, tapos size, yung right. color, diba, mas on the darker diba, shade, diba, lighter the shade, shade, lighter tapos shade, tapos merong Asians, tapos merong Asians, na yung dolls. Uh, uh, they've become right. culture sensitive. <laughs> right. Kasi parang ano na rin eh, yung call of the time na rin, diba, as we grow. Kasi, Because imagine what Barbie looks like when oh, yeah. was, uh, she was first oh, yeah. introduced to the Barbie that we are used to seeing right now. It, it's always one. just a blonde, just white, blonde yeah. style. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. So parang there's Barbie for everyone now. Mm-hmm. Yes, see Lex, yes. Lex said, Lex. true, boys can play that. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, it's it's thank the way coming, it's how you anyway, it play. It for me, it's, but thank you for coming to my defense. To my defense. Anyway. <laughs> it's how you play with it, naman eh. Let's bring everyone back. Let's, let's bring everyone back. Talagang inulit ulit. Wow. Talagang inulit ulit. Very early, ah. Yes, so let's bring everybody in. Let's, let's bring, bring everybody, everybody back in. in. Everybody yes. Yes. Ang ang ano like. Oh, no. This episode is really, episode uh, is really uh, brought me back again. I, I love most of the episodes that I host with you guys, with, with you, Lizette, guys. and I know. Yeah. It really brings me back down to memory. It brings me back to childhood. It brings you definitely, right. yeah. So it yeah. just brought me back to childhood. Yeah. So I was like, when I was looking at the pictures, I was just like, oh my God, I had this toy before. I've played with this toy before. I've had experiences with this. It just comes back. Wow. So, wow. nasa, na, so, nasa na yung mga guests natin? Na mga guests natin? <laughs> <laughs> Chaka, I think, um, Chaka, I think, um, gusto ko na yung next part because we have exciting crisis. Yes, we do, we do, yeah. we do. Yeah, so, um, again, uh, again, uh, I guess we'll, we'll go with our trivias for tonight. But before we go on our trivias, no, um, going back kanina with, um, Wow, ayan, ayan. That, that I yan ba yung nagpi-flip yung head? <laughs> yeah. Is that, is Hindi that naman. No, no, it doesn't. doesn't. No, so, that's wala yung sa ano eh. No, it's from the action mm-hmm. hero line. Oh, okay. But it is Jason the Red Ranger, yes. This is from Futomi. Oh. Oh, yan yung y- y- those are the prizes for tonight pala. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job. I just I just realized, no. <laughs> Pwede bang, ano, naka, ano din ako, <laughs> a join. Yeah. yeah, and so, again, so let's go with our trivia, but before that, I just want to ask everyone, no, um, oh, yeah. we'll go with the trivia muna, <laughs> and then we'll go with, with everybody else later on. So let's, let's start with Carl, no? Mm-hmm. Kasi earlier, he was discussing about Mecca. So, for everyone who's actually, like, watching us right now, yeah, sige, I'll let Carl actually ask this question for the trivia. Okay, for for the Mega Pinoy side, okay, trivia question namin, what year was Mega Pinoy founded? Yeah, what year was Mega Pinoy founded? So that's the that is the question. So for everyone who's watching, so while we're waiting for the for the answers to come in, no, I I want to ask you guys um how much what how much is your collection right now? <laughs> what, what, hey, money time. Wow, that hey, is the worst. How many, how have. many figures? Let's just go with figures. Still, what a question. I don't know. <laughs> figures, lang figures. Let's go with figures. Like six figures, five figures. Let's start with card. Uh, oh my lahat? god. Kasi in, yeah, yeah. In like models, every, every, models how, how much have you invested into it? Yeah. Kasi I, I also collect toys like mga SOC, SHF, yeah, yeah, yeah. So lahat total. Figures. Give me, give me like the figures. I'm pretty sure six figures. <laughs> <laughs> six figures. Six, sure. six, six figures. Six yeah. figures. Seven. Six. Five. I didn't want seven. No, not seven. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, while you guys are thinking about that, the answer to Carl's question is. 1999. 1999. And the winner is, as Kowa has indicated, is Miss Celeste Clemena. Yay! 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 Congratulations. So, ano yung, ano yung napalanunan niya sa'yo? <laughs> uh, uh, we'll be giving away, ano siya, uh, a, a bunch of small kits. So, isang first grade na Gundam kit with a display stand. Tapos, oh, yeah. uh, parang multiple na builder's parts. So, para siyang 
mga Ay, extra wow. guns ganun sa so pwede mong i-attach. So kung magkikit bash ka, you know, go to town. Yeah. So we're 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 <laughs> sending we're sending our rider to you again Celeste, I think. <laughs> yeah. And avid avid watcher natin si Celeste. So te- congratulations Celeste. All right. And while our guests are still thinking how much figures na yung kanila, let's go with X with his question. And what ano ba yung pamimigay mo X? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hindi ko masagot yung question mo. I think my family is watching this and they're gonna kill me. But Listen, anyway, we'll just yeah. keep it between us here. <laughs> we'll wow, mute okay. it if you need to. Just wink six <laughs> times if it's six figures. <laughs> no, but I think it is safe to say it's six figures. Six yeah. figures. Close yeah, to seven, no? <laughs> So, mamaya niya, sasabihin na niya si sa yeah. sopa ka na matutulog. <laughs> I'm not right, married so, yet. So, um, what are you giving away for us, for, for our viewers? Okay, so here. Wait, where's the camera? Okay. Oh, so, okay. it's an action hero Red Ranger so I, figure. I think um, Jay actually flashed the photo earlier. Yes. Well. Is, that's this, it's the same one, right? Yes. Yeah. This, this is a five-inch figure. So, it's one of Bandai's um, last few releases of the Red Ranger, before okay. they um, gave the rights over to somebody else. Okay. So, all right, go ahead. You can ask the question to our viewers. Okay, so let's hope people can get this. Again, you can use Google for this if you want, if it's too hard. And <laughs> oh, something yeah, from Ranger your Wiki right will now. pop up. Something from Ranger Wiki will pop up, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this question, I hope somebody gets it. Who is the girl who replaced Kimberly as the Pink Ranger? Yeah. Who is who the girl replaced who replaced Kimberly as are, the are Pink Ranger? Are you talking Ranger? about two OG Power Rangers? Yes. So basically, who is the second Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger? Yes. Actually, there was an issue on that Power Rangers then, no? If I'm not mistaken, on the first on the first OG. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, they... They they placed Yellow Ranger with Aisha, I think. Because oh, um, that's that's a rumor. I I know what you're talking that's about. That's just a rumor about the supposed racist um connotation. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the enough. Thank you for mentioning that. That's actually just uh, that's just a rumor, and oh, okay. that's just observation. Because if oh, you okay. go down the line, there's there's been Asian Yellow Rangers, there's been Black Rangers that were black after the mm-hmm. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team. So it's not true. Okay. And also the original Trini, the original Trini from the pilot episode, which is available on YouTube. Um, oh, that's, it. it's that's, Power that's Rangers right. the right. Lost episode. Yeah, if you find it, it's Trini is not even Asian. Trini is Hispanic. So uh-huh. that's not a so, thing. So we're we're, get, we're we're getting some some answers. Yeah, we got a bunch of answers, answers think, but we're uh-huh. just waiting for yeah, Koa. Somebody, somebody got the first. <laughs> we're waiting for Koa yeah. to finalize. Make it official. To make it official. <laughs> Koa. May may pahabol si Mato. Ikaw, how much na yung collection mo in in terms of figures? Magsabi ka ng totoo. Ako atapin ang mababa dito. Hindi pa ako, alam ko hindi pa ako maabot ng six figures eh. Nasa five, five pa lang. Five, five figures pa lang naman. Kasi on, on, on a lower bench of five figures o higher bench? Tingin ko lower pa nga. Eh. Lower Baka bench. Nasa. Kasi yeah. ito mura ko lang nabibili. So mga... Ah! Oh, like, ah! Ranger, ah! Ranger <laughs> Keys! Sorry, I love Ranger yeah, yeah. Like yes. Uh, yes. I have a whole bunch of Ranger keys here. Yeah. I have two. Yeah. Actually, Toto is more of a Sentai fan, no? But I think he knows a lot more of of um Anoren. So earlier, I actually wanted him. If we had enough time, I I actually want him to actually discuss more about you know, with the differences. You guys two, the two of you would discuss more about Sentai and and Power Rangers, no? But say there's despite it being just coming from one, it still has their differences kasi. Yeah. 
Oh, well, we have a winner. We could always have American a whole story. show about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I think we have a winner. But X, yep. can you actually say the correct answer for your trivia question? Yes, and actually, a lot of people got it right. It's Catherine Hillard or Cat. Yes, and our winner for that is Mr. Jules Christopher Dedoro. Yay! And that thing says, please check your um, your filtered messages or message requests to actually, be getting the message. Actually, they're already sent. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, no. This is yours. <laughs> Miss Barameda, Here, are you it. watching? Are you still watching? I think friends are still watching. So just uh -oh. make sure to send the messages to them. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to deliver the same items. Yes. I'm Actually, sure. trivia ulit, ha? trivia lang. Ha? Si Toto right here, to, yeah. isa rin siya sa nag-deliver ng stuff nyo. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Toto. They're part of the logistics team that actually manages everything that oh, actually wow. goes out for ToyCon TV. So yeah. they're, they're they're the people on the ground that's doing this despite coronavirus. So props to them all the time. Props to them. Yeah. So you might end up visiting my house then because I won during yes. the Emiliano Santos. Yes. Yeah, so I'm actually the one who's arranging logistics for that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I promise you bring it to your house. <laughs> so uh, no, let's let's go. Let's move on to the next question. Our resource person slash. Um, uh, Sentai aficionado and Gundam aficionado, Mr. Potomi Nomura has a question for them all. And ano yung pang mo po? Courtesy of Anime Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show with Jay yung picture para lang ni, they, they're aware? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're, to, we are giving away a high grade, one is to one for, for Gundam Barbatos to our lucky winner. Yeah. So high grade. So, sige to. Go for your question. Ang question ko ay, in Gundam model kits, what does MG mean? Yan. What does MG mean? Grabe. Grabe. Dali. Dali lang niya. Nasa likod na ata. Tinago na ni Carl nga. Eh, oh. Naka, Nakasentro na siya doon eh. <laughs> <laughs> ikaw, Monoglutamate. Um... <laughs> Going with the grades, no. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna ask X the, uh, for the collections that you have, no. With the with the Megazord and everything, do they come with specific grades as well and scale models, or they're usually just standard? I uh, well, I I want to say there are, but no, there aren't. <laughs> um, <laughs> there there are what you call cross like cross series toy lines. Uh, okay. So, for example, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, like and they're not always necessarily the same size or scale. Okay. Sige. I, I, uh, natawala ako dun sa nakasagot, eh. <laughs> Gini sobrang <laughs> gibo siya. Gini sobrang gibo siya. Gini siya. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I guess, Toto, can you, can you, <laughs> can you bring out the answer to your question? <laughs> My answer is Master Grade. And our winner is... Dito, dito scripted na. <laughs> Why dito scripted kasi nga eh? Congratulations <laughs> to Dean Parts for um, winning the high grade. At I think Lizette will be the one building this Gundam figure. Delivering. <laughs> On delivering. It stops at my door. It stops at my door. It stops at your doorstep, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so congratulations to Dean Park for winning the master grade. Uh, I mean the the high grade of Barbados. Yes. Yay. And then um for our last one is Dion there already? Is Dion back? Is she is he back? Hi. Hello. Let me disconnect that. Let me Pero yung, yung question ni Mato kanina eh. <laughs> Cute na question ni Mato. Mato, sasabihin ko ba yung question ko? <laughs> Ayan. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, the, ano, um, question, a trivia question. And then um, um, we're gonna flash what um, Dion's gonna be giving away, this one. Okay, this one. Yes, Superman doll. Superman super, doll. super girl, pala. Sorry, super, yeah, super, super girl. Pala. Super girl. Sorry, super I don't know the term. Girl. I don't know the term. Super girl. Super yeah. Girl. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yon, take it away. My question. Mahirap to, Matt. 
<laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Na joke lang. So we um okay. So since uh, sabi ko nga ang most recognized doll I think in the whole world is Barbie, right? But bigyan naman natin ng pansin si Ken. So uh, I've mentioned earlier that Barbie came about in 1959. That's why we celebrated Barbie's 50th anniversary in 2009. Mm-hmm. So my trivia question is kailan naman what year naman lumabas si Ken? Hindi kasi sila sabay lumabas eh na, si Barbie and Ken. So what yes, what year lumabas si Ken? Kailan siya na introduce to the world? Yeah. Si Ken. Oh, what year? So nung Yes, kasi nung lumabas si Ken, ganito pa itsura niya eh, oh, di ba? Yan. That's what Ken. What year? So, nung, yes, kasi nung lumabas si Ken, yes, yes, so, for, um, do you mind messaging us, um, Dion, yung, yung ano, messages natin so that, um, Jim can actually find the correct answer? Yes, I'll message you, you I'll yeah. message you the answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Snap in so that um, Jay can act me like... Sa chat. Yes, Sa yes. chat. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. All right. So while we're waiting so, for the winner, for the, for, for Dion's question, no, um, I just want to thank everyone again for for staying with us here and to our awesome guests and our resource person for, for joining us at tonight's episode. Um, yeah. While, while we're waiting for the, for the answer... Answer. Yeah, so Jay, that's the answer. If you're able to, um, let's give the floor to Carl for any final messages before we announce the answer. Go ahead, Carl. And shout outs also. Uh, yeah. So anyway, like I said earlier, uh, if you're interested in Mecca, in, in any Mecca for that matter, you can for Mecca Pinoy on Facebook, and uh, you can join. So see you there. And uh, remember, if you're into skill modeling, naman. There are many methods out there. Does it matter as long as it looks good? Yes. So, ano, ah, mag-airbrush painting na tayo. Ah, magda-demo oh, tayo. Lagawa okay. tayo ng okay. na, na, na TV episode. If you want, sure. <laughs> right, thank you so much, Carl. So, before I move on to X for his final messages and for Dion, um, I just want to... Uh, um, Dion, what's the fi- uh, correct answer? For your, ano? Nakamute siya. Nakamute siya. Pero... Nakamute ka pa rin. Nakamute ka pa rin. <laughs> mute, mute, mute. <laughs> Ayan, yan. There, so, there. The Alright, well, the answer is Z? It's actually 1961. Yeah, Ken 1961. came out at 1961. So, and, 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 Congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to the winner. Congratulations. All right. Um, is X still here? Yes, no? All right, let's move muna kay Dion since Dion's still here before we lose you. Uh, any last messages? Any last messages? Well, for me, last message ko, uh, I think uh, a lot uh, a lot of people uh, message na ang dami kong sinabi kanina na ano na punong-puno ng aral. I hope I hope na, na yes, you yeah. learned something from from the journey that uh, I've discussed earlier and I will be leaving you with also one of the things that uh, that um, that helped me to the to this journey. No, mm-hmm. and applicable naman to kahit outside the dull the dull word. Applicable to sa life. Uh, never stop experiencing. Uh, some experience you learn to grow. From growing, you learn to give, and by giving, you, you let other people experience life. So yun lang. Thank you so much. I hope. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Dion. And X is X still here? Is X still here? Are we still able to bring him back? Hi, X. Is is he still on or uh, no? There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes, yes, X. The the only Filipino admin for Ranger Wiki. I'm so proud of you. So, sir, your final messages to everyone. 
Hi. Okay. So yeah. Um. If you want to look up anything regarding to, regarding Power Rangers, just visit Ranger Wiki. Literally, just type it in in Google or go to Ranger Wiki itself, PowerRangers.fandom.com, and you'll find what you're looking for. If you feel like joining the editing team, it's open for everybody. So just go ahead and do that. Um. Yeah, we're here to help you out. And if oh, regarding toy groups, again, if you could visit Ismorphin in the Philippines, uh, Lighting Collection, PH, uh, Super Sentai Market, and Power Rangers Market, PH. These are all the best places to, you know, to go and, um, you know, commiserate with regards to Power Rangers and Super Sentai. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. Carl and Leon for your amazing walkthrough of your fandom with us here tonight so just a logistics advisory so from us with aap uh, because of the new quarantine situation in place within metro manila we may experience some delays in delivering your items but rest assured that we are committed to bringing your prices to your doorstep so of and course, if you're lucky one of us will be delivering it yes and of course make sure to check your facebook messages as well because either me or um, Miss Catherine Barameda will be messaging you about uh, how to claim your prices and um, to send the information that we need so that we can actually get those. Set? Yep. Um, I'd like to thank my friends from Ilana. One is watching. Hi, Zella, if you're there. Um, I'm also. <laughs> thank you for Toy Thank you, Toy Kontihi, for having me, Michael, and Toto. So we're really happy that we have Toto here. Yeah. Uh, it's just time to co-host uh, with us but we're looking forward to more episodes with you yes toto any final messages um sino pa sasalamatan mo ayan ah, salamat sa mga fans ko ah. <laughs> <laughs> diyan sa <laughs> ano pa that's it wala wala ka bang kataga na maiiwan para sa amin <laughs> sa ibang show natin yun ay sa ibang show natin yun all right so you can follow Toto as well with us when we do anime alliance live we'll be resuming it somewhere soon anyway that's all the time we've got for tonight's episode thank you to our prestigious guests and my awesome co-hosts for bringing us this awesome episode of toycon tv catch us again next week same time same place for another more phenomenal next more phenomenal episode of toycon tv so i hope you got fun guys and peace out thank you everyone